Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Saturday. So very happy to be here for some more Lunky. We're currently halfway through our goal of reaching 799 on all characters in Spelunky 2. In 2023, uh, Little J's on deck, my favorite character. Gonna be fun. Before we get started, we got five million in chat and your wonderful support. What's up, Tharson? Xander, good to see you. What's up, Pinball Box? Lunar Winds, Opnul, Gravenfear. Hey there, Tharson, Sitley, and all the rest. Hope you're all having a great one. Let's get some critter related warm up going here and get it started. Penguin in the hole. Nice. All right, Penguin, come over here. We're going to do Cricket to the Moon, Penguin up the ladder. Where's me, Cricket? Got him. All right, cricket to the moon. All right, penguin 180, turn around, chair, sit down. You can tell it's going to be a good day. Jay knows what's up. Here we go. Give me that. Everybody pays the mole toll. Alright, I deserve that damage. Is fair. Alright, ropes uh, to start. Right on. Alright, I can reach that kidders naturally, so I will. Ugh. Oh, and the ghost turn? Right on, man. Just two lads running mad. Have a nice one, guys. Have a nice one. Blow off that steam. Yo, Horns fan, thanks for 21 months of lurking. Hell yeah. Lurker's number one. What kind of store we got here? We got a power pack store. Okay. We've done this before. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. Then, yes, we are power packing. Big time. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I think it's 16,000 for the power pack. If I'm not mistaken. Let's check it out. 16, 16. So I need that down there. Let me grab it. Could I, mean, I could also steal the power pack, but we're getting Kapala here, which is very exciting before that. Here we go. It's going to do Yang a quick disservice here. Sorry, bud, but not that sorry, buddy. Kapala get. Not an awful turkey town. I wouldn't call it good, though. gonna drop everything on the shrine here in fact i'm gonna cook this turkey Ooh, get one more hp here we go so not everything on the shrine most things on the shrine 
Yo, Suprock, thanks for 35 months. 35 in a row as well. Hell yeah. Thank you all for the amazing opportunity to continue being here to entertain you. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. It's true. Get up here, you ridiculous mole. There you go. There you go. Okay, um... You know, I'm just going to try using a power pack bomb here. I'm not sure what this will look like. It looks awesome. Can't believe we're sitting uh, halfway through this complete Cosmic Ocean All Characters Challenge. Uh, not even through the third month of the year here. Awesome. We're doing it. Do, do, do. <laughs> Another power pack. It's like the exact same store we just saw, sir. Sir. Sirs. Okay, I don't need to do that because we had the uh, skeleton key for it. All right, there is an arrow there. Should be stopped. All right, good. Later, Tato. Yo, Novo, oh, and thanks for an awesome year. What's good? Been loving the lungs lately. Really nice to be halfway through this challenge. It's like being ahead of pace because obviously at some point this year we'll be playing uh, other stuff. Just been jamming on Spelunky. Feels nice, because is nice. Bonk. I already have Skeleton Key. It's the Hamster Safety Center. Let's go. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to cook a Power Pack Bomb here. Let's go. Give him the big bada boom. You know that was a kill. You could just tell. Almost whipped the bombs. That would have been bad. I think the iframes might have saved me there, but even then. He's helping me extract blood. Oh, okay. Hold on. Scary. So he didn't get stunned when I whipped him, so there's definitely a case there where you can get uh, stuck. Let's go. 45, 7, 14 health. Power pack, jungle. Hell yeah. Um, okay. So I'm concerned about jumping over here, though I really want to see it. Okay, hold up. I'm going to go around. Do it this way. Bonk. That's me, kidders. Okay. 
just that the spider is not very hard to kill right here. Good fight, good fight. Let's juggle the rest of the stuff down now, huh? Pretty serious level. Pretty good level, man. Let's go. the blippins. Looking good. Where be? Here? Okay, that'll do. Let's go down. I think the last time I played uh, Isaac Gish, actually I was talking to my wife about this, um, was June of last year. I'm not going to say never say never, but uh, I really don't see myself returning to it. I don't think that Isaac held up very well compared to a lot of other games. And with all of the controversies surrounding the game studio uh, and creator and stuff, it's just not, <laughs> not an interest of mine. I'm very happy with the 5,000-ish hours I have in that game series. But alas, the gameplay is mostly a tedious snooze fest, so... That and all the other reasons surrounding it, it doesn't seem like a very desirable game to play. Yeah, it's interesting. Nobody ever talks about the uh, the drama there. And obviously, it's not a drama stream, but if you just Google... Uh, Nicholas, the company that makes the game in controversy, basically uh, the head of that studio has uh, ripped off a bunch of indie devs and also had a bunch of like very racist and sexist uh, messages he was sending to co-workers and stuff like that. It's pretty shitty overall. But everybody likes to pretend that didn't happen because reasons. Because humanitis, really. I thought the whole thing was kind of gross. Okay, let's get the hat here. And then uh, let's go here. Okay, the only thing we didn't get here was uh, new back equipment. Um, I kind of want to scrounge for yellow cape now. Even if that means spending some bombs. Got two minutes to pull this off. Yikes. It's not very long. How much is the... Uh, how much is the... The cape here? Twelve thousand. Okay, that seems feasible, especially if I get over here. Okay, let's use this guy to drop this down. Nice. Okay, we're definitely within a uh, twelve thousand range. Mm -mm 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 
Looks like we're going to get it naturally without popping this. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb in here. Um, let's just throw a bomb here. He didn't die from that? My, my dude. How can I be mad when I'm so impressed right now? Alright. Well, I will say Power Pack was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Alright. Oh, a couple more things in addition, then I'll drop the subject. Uh, also, uh, Binding of Isaac's uh, latest DLC release, they took over almost over a year to release any updates for it. Uh, and the last game released by Edmund, Legend of Bumbo, uh, also same deal, just didn't get after release support. Honestly, I could go on for a while about this, but I think the bottom line is it's unlikely I'll be playing Isaac in the near future. Though I am very grateful for my time with the game series. It's definitely a big part of our history. As the saying goes, nothing lasts forever. Except for maybe Spelunky too. Okay, no arrow trap here. That's really interesting configuration. Almost always an arrow trap on this uh, this one. See, so the game I'm probably looking forward to most right now is Risk of Rain Returns, but uh, we'll see on that. I try not to front load the eggs in my basket. I think I'm very fortunate with my no frills format and just the way I am personally that when I see something I like, I know it right away. There's not much question about it. I said this before on stream, I'll say it again. At this point in my career, zero games could release for the rest of my career, and I'd be perfectly happy. So I'm not uh, too invested in what is releasing, though new games come out all the time I like. Games that you end up getting 100 plus, 1,000 plus hours, though, are like a very rare breed. Most games are, you know... Uh, 10 to 20 hour playthrough and done. Which is also fun, but limited. Alright, here we go. Pretty good level. Hold on, did I get uh did I get the sister here? I don't think I did. Almost certain I didn't now. Oh, okay. Wait, did I get this? I did. Let me just make sure I talk to her. Okay, I just did that first thing and forgot. Here we go. Okay, I'll be over here then. Hmm, I wonder if this sister was to the left over here. Let's 
seems very likely with what we're seeing now. Okay, let's go down here real quick. There she is. Therby. Yeah, what Prixie said, no, nothing about my channel format or my game choices is any reflection on him, but anybody else runs their stream. I'm just making choices for myself. I really don't think there's a wrong way to run a broadcast. Every person's allowed to make their own choices and do what feels right for them. It's the wonderful thing about being alive. My opportunity's also been extremely unique, so had a lot more privileges than some other people as far as the choices I can make for my stream for format and games okay there's a back layer uh, entrance right here okay there's a dead leprechaun over here too I'm gonna kill off um these guys. Missed, okay. So I definitely could get these bodies live on the shrine, but let's be honest now. Oh, look at that. We can bomb into the shrine and get that. Okay, I'll make the climb. I'll make the climb right here. Let's rope up. Do, 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 do. Nice, dude. 47 health jungle? Hell yeah. That's the goods right there. Yo, Wibble Wibs, thanks for 32 months. Gonzo the Sock Puppet, thanks for 110. And Nasty Man, thanks for 58. Sorry for missing you in my little rant there. Whoops. Manfred had some awesome runs. Just stellar. Leprechauns are worth zero sacrifice points, just like crabs. Okay, good enough for me. Let's go. Alright, 12 bombs. 20 ropes. I don't know, man. good a little bit of a tight fit let's go decided against Olmec in the hole here because I don't have green gloves yet so my ropes might end up being a very key resource on this run and giving up four ropes here to do Olmec in the hole is a well, tough prospect Nice, got quick kill here. Uh, I'm not sure, Nate, we got, I think, Liz done on the first run of this series. Mm. 
That is to say, Manfred was definitely not the quickest. My dad, stand up, Jay. Ooh. I have not been hit by that UFO in a long time. But we'll call that a warm-up and probably for the best because the equipment was lacking on that run. We got Olmec. That'll happen. That'll happen. Can I make this jump? Can. Okay, let's extract the puppers then. Rescue him in a minute. Also fun, uh, Nash Tanner. I think that's the biggest benefit of doing Olmec in the hole. It's definitely not, quote, worth the resources, but... With clone gun and other stuff, it's uh, a fun technique. What we got here? Oh, man, these stores today. Do 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 do. You know, if the next solo doesn't have a store, I might actually reset here. I don't need like a crazy good run, but I'd like to see a equipment to start. Let's just do it now. In fact. I reset very rarely in Spelunky, but I think I'm going to make an exception here. That's essentially the third store in a row I've seen that's exactly the same with the equipment but no bombs or anything. Even just bombs would be fine. One pair of shoes? Is that too much to ask, game? Just one shoes? Turkey Tam. Oh, I can't get up here yet. Hold on. Almost lost me turkey. Boy, I was going to say I bet Turkey Town's in there, but it's not. Okay, there's the other turkey. Um, I suppose I could bomb for this. Why not? Oh, that's why, because I had to bomb into Turkey Town to do it. Um, well, there's the at least bombs I hoped for. I don't know about that. I think I'm moving along here. We'll buy these. And a store with Ace. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ace is definitely a cool item.
All right, later, Turkey. Nice knowing you. Yo, Sam Dabbers, thanks for 52 months. Half century and climbing. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to go Volcana here, mostly based on how much money I have, which is very little. Bloop. You've been blumpsoned. Hey, thanks, Bearded Flames. Appreciate the good luck wishes. I'm sure we'll need them. Help me out, little man. Probably should have grabbed the help. I guess it was probably on the other side, huh? What? Oh, we didn't get the... Okay. Let's try it again. How come you're awake already, sir? Here's the thing. Take a legitimate nap for once in your life, would you? <laughs> yeah, that's Spelunky for you. Can't even be mad at that one. This is well played game. Well played. Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about my play today. I know we're not making it very far, but, like, um... Everything's going smooth. Just a few painful, uh, and... Punished mistakes today. Overall, everything's feeling very fluid. Hey, there's that one pair of shoes I asked for. This guy's listening. This guy's listening. I like having yellow cape this early. It's a really nice item to have okay that's good to know that the uh, key area is way back here very hard to get back to without using uh, several ropes and I will where key though huh uh oh Don't, 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 don't. Is this the voice echoes? It feels like it. We got a shrine here, but no action. Key, please. There's key, finally. All right, it's going to be a real humdinger here. Problem is I need that bat to get back up to save a rope. Okay, here we go. This is one of the most brutal uh, locations I've ever seen for uh, for this. Three ropes to get back. Lucky I found a rope bag. Um, okay, well. One more rope then. Ch 
just brutal. The important part is we found it. If I hadn't looked over on this side, it would have been completely bamboozled at the bottom of this uh, area. Certifiably bamboozled. Okay, I do have the ropes up. I didn't hear the damsel. I'm guessing the damsel is in the back layer. Seems really likely. Two fifty two, huh? Wow, look at that damsel. No way. Look at that damsel. So there's not going to be any sacrifice points on this one, too. What a doozy. What a doozy. You know, uh, somebody said something in chat yesterday, and I thought it was incorrect, but now I'm thinking about it. Maybe the levels, uh, regular levels, are a consistent size uh, in their grid. I know voice echoes can be slightly randomized um, in how much bigger it gets, but I'm thinking the regular levels might actually be consistent. Maybe. Okay, get out here, you ridiculous mole. Talking to you, buddy. Okay, we got a peril store. That's exciting. Okay, regular 4x4 four four echoes is 6x6, six six, so I was just wrong. That'll happen. That was Flutter Dash that said that yesterday. Me dang. I told you you were wrong, but you were right. Must be humanitis. Do, 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 do. All right, Ghost Urn is definitely the lower priority here. It's definitely one of the more brutal one twos I've seen as well. It's the real deal. The real Spelunky deal. Let's filter down this puppers. Camera. Okay, there's the other turkey. Awesome. What's our timing looking right now? Adequate is the answer. I'm just going to first bring the uh, ghost urn to the exit. Now I'm going to tame this turkey. Yeah, so basically Spelunky generates stuff in a tile set. So there's a pretty large amount of different types of tiles it can have. And then it combines them to create the grid the level is based on. So like, for example, Yang's uh, Yang's area cubo here is one tile set wide and tall. <laughs> Let me try some here. Okay, didn't work. Didn't work, we're dead. Yep. So I was wondering if I could cook that bomb and have it blow up Yang. But it didn't work. Now I know. Now I know. Good run and a fair try. This run's going to have a jetpack. I feel it. That's tough. Well, 
What a weird level, man. What is this we can cut in here? Just three snakes and a guy. All right. Okay, not making it back for that. That's fine. Let's make sure our hamster gets rescued and uh, get out of here. Matic does allow for the killing of Yang here. Let's come back around. Use the old turkey elevator technology. Let's duck the turkey right here. Well... It's going to be a rope either way. I don't have to buy that yet? Okay. Turkey elevator right here, then. There it is. Right, so we're gonna make a little step here. been squashed. Mm. <laughs> Fair. Okay, that turkey's gone. This is worth a bomb to me. In fact, let's cook this turkey here. Yes, I'd love to, but... Oh, that's tough. Um... Alright, uh... Can I get something up there? Is there a rock in the vicinity? There's not. There's a rock right here. I think with a good toss, I can get the puppers down without using a rope. That's important to me because I only have two ropes left. All right. Additionally, I'm going to dig down here. This will be a good use of the mattock. What do sprongs? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, there's the dwelling, finally. Give okay, us spring shoes, I can come back up, and I will. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, 
We're not getting all the way to Kapala, so we're just going to stop here. Leave a little bit of this Matic for 1-4. Uh, Alright, two swings for a large nugget or better. I'm in. Did use a fair amount of my Matic swings on the uh, the Kali Shrine. That's definitely worth saving the rope on. Do, 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 do. There's one. Oh! I just realized a new way to pop this. Cool. All right, this goes down for a moment. Sammy, thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support. Much appreciation. I get him? I got him. Um... I'm not convinced I want to go jungle here. Spring Shoe Volcano is pretty nice. Let's do this. Ah, the Matic's pretty good too, though. Tough choice, tough choice. With 45 here, I'm going to choose to go jungle. It's a lot of cash. Set up for a monster black market. Okay, has this gone off yet? Looks like it. Yes. Oh, look at all that value. Oh, yeah. Ruby's worth the most. check over here. Huh. Well, nothing wrong with taking the Matic with us. You have shoes here. Good. That's nasty. Can I make it back up here? The answer is no. So we gotta go around. Ton shop with what? Shield, shotgun, machete. That's not very good. I don't think I'm going to go in here. Okay, well, this will certainly be worth it. Yeah, that hive is dangerous. We're getting pace down here. That's awesome. I 
think I just dropped that on top of the spike bit, unfortunately. No, I didn't. Let's rescue this puppers. Dude, how is this Maddox still going? Okay, that's probably going to be fine. Yeah. Morph. Use up this matic here before I do anything else. I'll buy ropes for sure. Okay, I didn't mean to fall through there, but I certainly did. Okay, we'll release this guy later. Where is the sister? Hmm. Okay, there it is. Let's see if we can work through here. That's fair. She's one bomb. You know, for one, one rope, sure. Ten grand for one rope seems a fair trade-off. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's an item down there. Two items, huh? Cool. That's the bow, got him, beautiful. No arrow trap again, interesting, man. Cool challenge. Okay, can I get this? I should be able to. Stern available. Mm -hmm. right, five health. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the puppers. Right, let's buy the turkey too, and then we get big spender. That'll definitely pay off. We have a hundred thousand, so ten percent discount is uh, more than we paid for the puppers and the turkey. If we spend all of our money. <laughs> okay, he's got my turkey. Let's go. Okay, not black market here. Wow, so we got a late as possible uh, black market with a lot of money to spend. That's awesome. <laughs> Freaking loaded right now.
You know what? I'm using a rope right here. I've died on this segment before, and that bug is uh, troubling, to say the least. Unless there's a shrine over here, I'm not going to go get buffers. Too dangerous. All right, later, Tater. I bet there's going to be a shrine on this level. Okay, you should be almost fully trained. Can you just take a big old nap for me? Thanks. Ugh. Is this the key, or is this the sister? Is key. It's very likely we don't need any money to finish this run, or finish the black market fully, but I'm still going to do my due diligence here. Mainly to see if I can uh, get black market information from there. Cannot. Yo, here we go. Here we go. You listen here, you wily critter. Okay, so we have Kapala. Have not seen the black market yet. I'm going to come back for the remainder of the sacrifice value. But want to see the black market first. There it is, down right from the sister entrance. So we're looking at bottom shelf. I'm going to use a bomb here. Because I know I'm going to want to come back to the shrine after the black market. And this will make it easy. Can okay, I leave the bow outside as well? 120,000 entering the black market. It's about to be a bonanza in here if they're selling goods. <laughs> For sure, we're picking up Hajit. Count it. See gloves. Love that. What's in the box? All right. Ba -da 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 -da. All right. Bombs, bombs, gloves, shoes, ropes. Rope, rope, rope. What's in the box, man? Teleporter. All right, all right. Not buying power pack here, though we certainly could transfer to that. Follow me, sweaty men's. You know, as much as I like Kali, that whole section is quite the pain. Let's get the helps on there. Excuse me, helps. Excuse me, helps. Okay, go this way. Me and you leave in here. There you go. I guess I'll make my gold two jellies here, and then we'll leave. Pretty awesome. We still got 14,000 left over. We spent over 100,000 in the black market. That's pretty solid. Oh, hold on a minute. Maybe I am going to buy power pack here. Power pack does save us bombs in a way. Yeah, let's go for it. Also very nice for farming blood. Da -da 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 -da. Plus 
plus it's what they're giving us right now. Okay. Later, Tater. Yeah, we're officially broke now. That is very true. That's true. At least our gear looks good. Alright, time for Olmec in the hole, except for extra large style. Hell yeah, big bada boom. This will actually help us make a little more money on Olmec in the hole too, because we're making this gigantic hole. More goods getting blasted out. Why would I do that? Because hubris, that's why. Blammo. That's one gigantic hole for one Olmec. All right, his item here is going to pop that now. Going down. Squash. Yes, power pack increases the bomb explosion size by one tile. Yo, Felspar78, thanks for 66 months. Casually challenged. Thanks for 89. And Doze143, thanks for 18. Appreciate the year and a half. Thanks, dude. Most spacious. Some decent uh, bombs for money here. In fact, I'm going to take this one right here. Looks pretty good. Sixty-three hundred one bomb. Won't somebody think of the value? Very important, we remove the power pack right here. If we bomb into Waddler with the power pack on, the explosion goes inside of his area and he gets very mad. No surprise there, Grog. The, um, the power pack is not a common item. Not at all. Uh, I'm going to bomb here. Oh, interesting. When the power pack whip is underwater, it does not function for extra damage. Never seen that interaction before. Cool. Dude. That's fair. Deserved. All right, Boomerang Crossbow is definitely a start the game can give. Sure. All right, shoes I already got. Don't mind that. Parachute, okay. Dun, 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 dun. 
Hi, Pin Pin. You're being a bit of a kidder today, don't you think? Okay, he went in the water. That's not great. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the pool here, I think. It's a really tough spot for this bottle to be. There we go. Alright, come on down to Evisceration Station, partner. Yeah, unfortunately here, I believe the Helping Hand's gonna die if I don't clear this out, so I'm gonna try. Yeah, he will. Stop running into the fish, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Well, at least he's not dead yet. If I just have to carry my own clone gun, that's also fine. if I've whipped the helping hand too many times here. Like, if he won't pick up the clone gun. Well, he picked up that. Okay, but pick that up instead. There we go. I believe if I bomb right here at the power pack, I can create a situation where the helping hand can't get out. It was close. I almost did it. Alright, well I can additionally bomb right here then. Let's see about this. No, still no good. Alright, how about this? I'm just going to take the clone gun with me. problem I have right now is the technique I want to use here is going to take some time. Or is it? Yep. Man, can I keep the power pack here? I'm feeling like maybe not going to be tricky.
The answer is no, not keeping the power pack. going to use bombs here to speed this up. We do have the clone gun, so it's hopeful that the sun challenge will be on 7-1. Oh, there's a crate up there. Um, I'll bomb through. Got the Yushabity info. Here we go. Where's Waddler at? Feels like right here, but could be right here, right above as well. Let's go into the ice caves and see where Waddler shows. Okay, up and right, then. So, right in here. Actually, see the top of the entrance through the crust right now. All right. Oh, snap. I did that wrong. Still alive. Little 15 damage fall. I'll take that with me. Oh, look at this. Blessed day. Okay, let's just make sure that we're bombing this in such a way that we don't have the jetpack uh, die to the spinning orb. All right, nice. Well, with that, I'm going to just chill and skip here. Rather than grab our urn. Great find, man. Okay, revelry I will do. A nice straight shot elevator going down. That's awesome. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da.
Yeah, the reason we dropped the power pack um, is I didn't have time to put the power pack back on after dropping it. If I would have gone out of the bottom level and put the clone gun at the exit, I would have had time to put the power pack back on. But even then. Okay, here's this. Looks good. Let's refresh our jetpack fuel on the bubble. Just a happy accident. Just some style points for y'all. That's all. All right, sun challenge is right here, as is that we're going to get 96 bombs in Rome. So let's just do a little bit of preemptive cleanup here. The idea is I make it easier to get to my exit with my extra bombs. That'll be plenty good. Because we're going to get the clone zone going right now. Dude, Software Elves, thanks for five months in that Prime continuation. As all you ever late to our mission notification, do sincerely apologize. I have a terrible case of that humanitis myself. Gonna load the uh, bow with the arrow. Awesome software elves, thank you. Appreciate your patience. All right, definitely gonna grab this four health here. shrine here, I'd like to put the pups on it. 30 health's not a small amount, but it's definitely not, like, swole. Not in range of wanting to get poisoned, that's for sure. Alright, back layer right there. I'm gonna leave it be the um, back layers in Sunken Temple are historically pretty bad. It can be ton shop, but usually not. Usually not. Slower. Giant Frog City. I'm out of here. Alright, Hunt and Climb begins. 
Ooh, a little reversey there. I haven't seen that segment in a long time. That's a massive straightaway. That's great. Okay, so there's a good spot to get the easy kill here. Let's go back to the side now. You know what? I'm just going to bomb up here. There's a great section on this side, but even then... Do, 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 do. The light arrow does 10 damage per hit. That ain't it. This'll do. Okay, there we go. There we go. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. And yes, hitting yourself light out is actually quite easy to do. All right, two more fireballs, and I'm dropping down. There's one. There's two. Line them up, knock them down. All right, yo, we made it. Cosmic Ocean. All right, we in. Thanks, Mole. That seems like a pretty perfect last orb to pop. Uh, you know, if the Mole didn't do it for us, right on, man. I think on this CO, I'd like to get my hands on a boomerang. That'd be a goal. Start manually working on our health a little bit. All right, it's going to roll out a five-minute prediction here. Uh, it'll be how far in Cosmic Ocean is the question. You can choose a set of levels you die in between. Just five minutes on this one. Just going to refill my water real fast, and we'll be officially into the first leg of Cosmic Ocean. Be right back. All 
Alrighty. Have returned. Here we go. There's one. I'm feeling this level's not very big. There's two. Here's three and the exit. Is this a spike pit? Is? Oh, man. Listen here, bat. That was pretty rude. that boomerang I was talking about. Let's get to it. Alright, something to keep in mind here is I do not have um, pictures mitt. It's an equipment we're missing, so uh, I'm going to try to avoid throwing bombs as a like I have it. Okay, I mean, that's that's a good orb for last. We have one more to find still. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe that was three. Was that it? No, that's two. Okay. Fair enough. Definitely areas we haven't seen here. There it is. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Glass? I don't have glasses either. I don't need them, but it's equipment. In fact, there's no functional purpose of glasses since we have Ujot Eye and the levels are... Um, okay, hold on. We're bombing here. This is Orb 3. Nice time to have Boomerang on that one. Oh, awesome. I will just go right back around the same way we came in. Oh, that's right. Glasses protect from squid ink. That's right. Thank you for that reminder. That is a, a very good note. And true. There's two spikes here. Oh, it's water. All right, here's the exit. Here's board three right on. Well, I'm generally very up to using one bomb to make my exit clean. It's a good policy. Let's just leave this here. Let's have this guy try to hit us. Yum. Yummers. Are you liking the new Ripple Rock now, Penny? Good. Good. Our cat Penny is a bit of a drama queen, and uh, when you like replace something of hers, like a new scratcher, or uh, we have this thing called the Ripple Rug, which basically is two pieces of fabric that you can put together, and then it makes, you know, a thing they can crawl in or hide behind or whatever. But um, we replaced the old one, which just beat to hell, and Penny went into a two-day depression because we upgraded her Ripple Rug, and she didn't have her old one. She's back now. Just pin pin things. Just pin pin things. 
right, there's that. I think this is orb three at the moment. Guess two, not three. Here's three. The you know, problem is when you're a kidder, nothing should ever change, according to Vinpin. Yeah, all right, that's definitely a thing. Probably just going to use another bomb here. I'm all about using bombs in tip. Uh, I mean, it makes a good uh, orb three if I actually get it there. Um, so the last orb's gonna be on the bottom side over here. Indeed. Alright, so the plan is to do this. Didn't work, fair. You betcha. Definitely not a very good level for Boomerang. I'm just going to leave Boomerang on the ground for now. We're close to 40 health. Is adequate. Ooh. I don't remember the last time I've actually bumped into an egg sack like that. It's been a while. It's a perfect last orb. Let's leave it. There's two. Here's three. Zoop. Get me out of here. Temple's definitely pretty scary. There are other other places that are pretty bad with jetpack too. Volcano's a a thrill ride. Neo Babs. Every level can get you in Cosmic Ocean, though. No exceptions. Okay, cool. We take those. There's one. Temple is much less harrowing if you have the resources to spend. Okay, bottom exit here. I'm going to set up old reversey technique right now. It's like that. I also saw that poison spit. Let's try to take care of that wherever it is. That's not it. This looks like it probably is, though. Yeah, that's the spit that was causing problems.
Jetpack was not explosive in Spelunky HD, no. All right, there's arrows falling through, so the side of the level is totally cursed. No, no going back there now. Okay, I don't like that the skull is falling uh, onto the jelly here. Just gonna remove that. Just drop through. Throw a rope here as well. Okay, I've seen that. Here we go, here it is. Ice Cave's definitely a desirable level, but Ice Cave's openness, um, while it does make it easier to clear on average, does complicate uh, a lot of stuff, too. Like, if you get flung, you get flung real bad. Overall, though, Ice Cave's is pretty high up on the levels I'd like to see. Bottom exit, that's not too bad. Okay, there's like a fortification stopping us from entering the level here. There's one. Alright, let's bomb in. There's another orb. This orb seems like it might actually be somewhat beneficial. Two. Okay, I know where that was. I also know I can old reversey up to the exit quite easily. I'm going to assume that our last orb is higher up. In here somewhere. I also have not seen the very bottom left of the level, so that's a possibility. But here it is. And yeah, let's say as low as tall enough, it should be coming from the top, and it was. Okay, perfect last orb right there. No reason not to leave that for last. That was too close. Alright, I'm going to drop through here. Let's throw a rope. That rope lets us get back. Here's orb three. Going to go around the spike pit. Uh, skips in, uh, Cosmic Ocean runs all the way through 798, so it is uh, 90, 93 levels long. It is the ultimate optional challenge in Spelunky 2, but it does have an ending. Let's just do that. Oh, wow, that monkey could have stunned me.
There's one. There's two. The spikes show is our salt word three as well. And there's crab bubbles. Yo, 12 bombs back to 91. Legit. Okay, no thanks on that, Cubby. Me good. Okay, I don't know where the exit is. It's gonna pop it in the corner here, and then I'm willing to use bombs to make it safer. Okay, so it's gonna be on the top here somewhere. Ish. I think I see it right there, actually. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm gonna wait here. Bloop. Be grateful to find one mummy here. That'd be nice. Bonk. All right, I think that's two, and I really like that as last orb. Looks really good. Maybe this is three right now. It is three. All right, Neo Bab, here we come. Here we come. Oh, man, that was brutal. Okay, we're still alive, and we have equipment to run backless. All right. Most importantly here, we're alive. Is this the actual edge of the level or not? I'm not sure. Keep your eyes peeled for back equipment in the crust. We also need to be very diligent on setting up third orb situations. Okay, not there. One very nice note for us is we have a lot of ropes right now. And the main disadvantage of low back equipment is definitely mobility. Okay, looking good.
Okay. I think the easiest way to do it is going to be a bomb right here. Yeah, it looks great. That's two, so this is three then. That's definitely a fair shot. All right, orb right next to the exit, so we know that's going to be three for us. Easy orb three. Okay, double crate over here. Crates, I want to get every last one I can, because it could be back equipment. You know, and other stuff, like bombs and ropes. Parachutes, not too shabby here. Okay, that's one. There's two, good. It's going to be really hard to keep uh, a hold of the jetpack because we're going to be doing this falling down technique. More on that in a moment. So basically the main way for us to get uh, traverse the level right now is to drop through. So we have to drop off the side and then catch the edge ledge on the top. Keeping Parachute active using that technique is difficult, but it's the main way we can get around the level. Alright, Ice Caves. A little shotgun. I don't think I want a shotgun right now. There's two. Okay, that would have been a very nice last orb. Lucky for us, there's one right here as well. It's a nice last orb. Okay, let's grab a body here. Yes, you can grab on the walls with climbing glove while you're falling, but good luck on that one. You cut in too fast, then you take fall damage, so... Uh, not reliable. Alright, is this three? Seems like if I push this over here and then place a bomb, that gives us a pretty good exit. Didn't go through. Okay. Yep, Ice Cave is definitely a different feel without back equipment, no doubt. No doubt. Okay, I want to pop this from underneath. Tricky, but okay. Yeah, sorry if there's any confusion. We started at 9 out of 10 yesterday and completed on Manfred. I had 8 out of 10 in the title because somebody convinced me in chat that... Uh, 
my count was wrong, but they were wrong. That'll happen. Currently at 10 out of 20 completed after Manfred. Okay, there's two. Exit is right here. So, I think I'm just going to use another bomb because. Oh, maybe not. Two bombs? Two bombs. Awkward one. Okay, good last orb there. Okay, we take these. <laughs> Less than 20 second level with backless? Hell yeah. Alright, I would like to get my hands on Boomerang now. It is more inputs, but Boomerang is essentially extended reach for us. Which is very desirable. Also allows us to farm out blood when we can. There's orb three as well. Now, uh, since we're on backless, I do need to figure out where the exit is from here before I pop this orb. Here B. That Witch Doctor is of not much consequence. I would like to see that, though. Cool. Yo, Cracktive, thanks for 24 months of lurking, two years. Appreciate it. All right, some great orbs here. This is feeling like a level I want to use some ropes on. Two orbs up here, awesome. Okay. Three orbs up here, even better. Yo, Slude Boar the Magnificent, thanks for 14 months. What's good? Machete? You know what? Yes, I do want Machete. Okay, him falling off is not good because he's going to wake up and have a skull on him. 
So the left-hand side of the level is super cursed right now. Looks like a good last orb to me. Maybe another bomb required to make that one actually good, but close enough to being good. This orb I always find a bit troubling. I don't like going over the spike pit because I keep dying there. That's why. Okay, let's put the machete down on the exit now. Right, her. Camera, nice item. Okay, this is a good last orb, or it's close enough to the exit, I'm going to call it good. Chip Chapman, reporting for duty. Okay, so there is something down here. That was one. I saw the explosion. It was also the true edge of the level, so I'm going to drop through now. Okay, we've been here. We didn't check out over here. That's the orb I was leaving for three. Remaining orbage kind of has to be on this side. Or not. Aha! You sly dog. One bomb for one crate. I'm in. <laughs> that was cool. One thing the Sunken Temple kind of runs into a lot is, like, there's not often a defined edge of the level to drop off of in these type of scenarios. This is feeling like old reversey technique uh, all day here. Could have made that jump a different way. one. There's two. Okay, we've reached the top of the level. Good. There's three right here. Okay, the exit was 
three tiles in, so I believe if I throw a rope right here, we're going to get Old Reversi going. This is it, right? Oh yeah, that's adequate. So there was one, one here and then one below this. Looks like we're using a bomb to get the one below. Later, Tater. There's two, no idea where Orb 3 or the exit is. Let's find out right now. Bonk. Okay, bombing. This cell is huge. Wow. Oh, I'm feeling like some bomb resources going to be expended here. Where exit, though? I mean, I'd love to get this Witch Doctor without using a bomb, but seems very unlikely. I'm going to check up top on the right. Alright, um, still don't know where the exit is. We're gonna find out from right here. Okay, cool, cool. So we can old reversey this. Whoa, that was close. There it is. Yo, MBT Dre, thanks for that Prime sub, and Austri, thanks for nine wonderful months. Appreciate the good luck wishes. We'll certainly need them here without back equipment and Cosmic Ocean. Been a very good set of levels, though. Okay. It's raining landmines, yikes. Okay, so that would have been a good last orb. This is as well. I think that's even better. Yo, Marlock's here. Thanks for 51 months. Okay, I see that poison going through. Take care of the snake right here. Okay. This is two? That's one. That's two. Okay. There's three. No clue on the exit right now. Is that it? Hell yeah. Okay, let's clean this up.
Just a couple summoners. Volcano is also another level that doesn't always have a well-defined side of the level. And I don't really want to climb up here. I want to fall down. Okay, well, I see the edge of the level now. Let's climb up. Alright, here's the exit. That's actually a really tough jump. Okay, we've got a top corner exit. That's beneficial because it's easy to get back to corners. Okay. Really surprised that drop. What dropped that? There's two. There's three. Got a little hinky, we pulled it out. Later, Tainer. Yeah, the Magmar triggered it there for sure. It's definitely a good call. Oh, no. Is that falling straight down or is it going to the side? I want to get my machete back, so before we leave the level, I'm going to let that land on the right-hand side. It's already coming through. There it is. Is it going back the other way now? Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Still going to try to get it um, off the level. It should land again on this side before time's up. Okay, that's where I started. So what haven't I seen yet? Down here. Don't believe we've seen the exit either, so it's right over here. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go retrieve our machete and then we'll leave. Oh, it's still falling. Wow. Still going. It's very slightly traveling this way, though. I gotta believe this eventually hits the edge. How many levels have we done without back equipment now? It's got to be upwards of 25. Okay, this is the one right here. Okay, it hit the ceiling. Good. Retrieved. What? Oh, okay.
Lost on 23. Okay, fair enough. Very good set of levels so far. It's the category I've been wanting to practice anyways. The backless cosmic ocean. Definitely have all of the knowledge to pull it off. But the execution on a run like this is immense. I would gladly throw back equipment uh, back on if I found it. You know, that's honestly not a terrible Orb 3. I'm going to leave that there, below the exit. It's not easy to get back to. I wouldn't say it's that bad. Okay, we do have arrow traps on the edge of the level, which uh, severely complicates doing that loop thing I was doing. Let's bomb here. There's one. Ooh, okay, yeah, the side level's quite cursed. Duly noted. It's fine. Except that it's not. All right. Okay, there's an orb below the exit. Sure on that one. This feels like it might be our first time trouble. Oh, okay, perfect. Great last orb. Great last orb. No time trouble. <laughs> I definitely deserve that damage. I'll admit when I did it, I done did it there. Yeah, last week we were actually at nine yesterday, so we got one seven nine nine victory yesterday. I was mistaken on the character count. Still a great day for Spelunky yesterday. Any day you make 799 is quite special. Alright. Well, to get through here, I really kind of have to use a bomb. It's either that or two ropes to get up there. I don't have a good calculation to that right now. Wow. Wow. That was the real Spelunky deal right there. Count it. Okay, there's the exit. There's the orb. I'm using another bomb for simplicity's sake. We're doing great on bombs right now. 743 with 85 bombs. Doing great. You fell, Dan. Let's leave this here for a second. I haven't seen exit. Okay, that's a great last orb. That's why we left it. Chip Chapman's reporting for duty. All right, perfecto last orb even. <laughs> that just knocked him out. Fair. I would like off the ride now. Yep. Yep. Alright, great last orb there.
Okay, lava spillage is happening. That was a significant risk to drop through there. That's why. Goodbye. Okay, sequester orb right here. Let's slurp it out. This level has a particularly accursed feel to it. Nice. Time was becoming a concern there. I think the general understanding of when you need to use resources is the key component of being successful on backless run. That was not the bomb I was trying for. Fine. All right, so let these regenerate and then I'll pop it. That's going to be an issue. Issue resolved. Okay, I don't like that the one on the right is last here, but uh, everything else looks clean. And it looks like we have a clean drop down here. So knowing we have all three orbs, I'm going to try to see if there's crates or more blood to collect on this level, etc. go back around and use a rope to pop this.
Hard to say, Charco site. Difficulty is extremely subjective and relative to uh, experience. Though I will definitely say I believe Spelunky 2 is the most challenging game I've played. For a lot of different reasons. I'm going to pop this here. Seems like it's good, but how do I actually pop that as last? It's a tough one. Alright, bombing in. Okay, there's that. Am I going to regret this? Probably. Okay, that one's already gone off. This makes a pretty good orb three. I'll leave that. Here's the orb. <laughs> oh snap, I thought that was going to be three. That was a little scary for a second. Yo, Dopefish, thanks for 104 months at Tier 3. Thank you so much, Dopefish. Appreciate you, dude. We schmoovin' right now. Don't run mad, sir. It's how somebody gets hurt. That somebody's you. I wholeheartedly deserve that. Okay, my uh, machete is on the ceiling. I'm going to uh, put a rope down right here. I'm not going to drop off, but... Let's count how many tiles in this is. Okay. Right here, then. Yeah, that's acceptable. I think there's still another orb yet. I think we've only popped one. Yes. No, that's one. Okay, at least we have the setup going into the exit here. So we know how to get our orb three and we have it set up near the exit. But it does not answer the rest of the questions. Like, where's my last orb? I don't think I've seen down here yet. Because I haven't. Listen here, you ridiculous mole. How dare ye. Got a bomb in. Either that or use a rope and push that block. Let me use a bomb here. Later, Tater. Okay, I heard an orb go off. Ugh! Okay, I'm out of here. That guy can have a nice little UFO life. Doing UFO things with this UFO time. The greatest advantage of the machete is the ability to completely remove bodies. All 
right? Don't trust it. No reason to. I'm bombing through. Alright, some action happening here. That is Orb 3, and it's right next to the exit. Butte. Shlorp. You know what, man? Nice shot. Okay, there's an arrow trap going straight down on the right-hand side. That tells us that we no longer want to use that side to traverse the level. Okay, have to bomb for this one. Okay, it's released water, which was not smart. Okay, awesome. There's orb two and orb three right next to the exit. Let's see if I can get something to throw at that one. Gotta be an urn or a rock or something around here. Or not. There's an urn. What hit me there? Oh, the skull. Okay. Oh, in that case, I'm just going to use a bomb. Yo, Halo Jack, thanks for 17 months. Brain Martyr, thanks so much for 34 as well. A couple more for. Oh my god, am I dead right here? Okay. I don't know uh, how I would have survived that, being cursed. And good news, the trouble on this level is over, and we'll use our Ankh here. That was a super nasty opener. Okay. Very fair. I think I'm going to swap to Boomerang now. Boomerang's a little more uh, health potential. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. As good of a place as any to lose our Ankh. You know what? I'm sticking with Machete. I get in a real groove when I have Machete on. one of those levels then. I see, I see. Okay, well I know the exit's right on top. There's two. And a freeze ray. Interesting. There's three. Awesome. I 
That might be the single most brutal entrance to a Cosmic Ocean level I've had in my over a thousand hours. Not a complaint, merely an observation. It was pretty exciting. This actually makes a pretty good last orb. I'm going to leave that there. The only possible way I could have survived that was by recognizing that the left-hand witch doctor um, was going to get bopped by the orb. But yeah, I, I don't know how I'd recognize that in time. Not easily, that's for sure. Let's use one more bomb here. More bombs. I want that to be orb three, so I chose to use a bomb to get around. Oh yeah, okay, this side's borked. Oh, that was a really nice orb, okay. Well, that seals the deal, then. So the initial damage in that jungle level was the um, the Hex the Witch Doctor put on us. The Witch Doctor has two attacks. They have the regular um, skull attack that orbits them and curses you. And also, if they get within six tiles range of you, uh, they place a Hex on you, which after a few seconds pushes the character in the direction opposite of the Witch Doctor. I think I'm using two ropes here. 12 bombs, sweet. Okay, rope here. That's fine. Rope here. Bomb here. Oh, I see a see an orb. Is this orb two then? Yes. One more rope for good measure. Parachute. Parachute's very hard to keep active in this situation. I'm going to drop through and pop it. Right, lasers and machete don't mix very well. Okay, that's two, so let's jump over this one. Um, okay. Let's 
one more rope then. I don't want to go without having seen my exit, at least partially. There it is. Let's use a bomb here. And that will have to do. Later, Tater. Yeah, we basically, since getting losing the jetpack, have maintained our bomb and rope count, which is very impressive. The game has been doing us a lot of favors, dropping crates, but... Uh... Uh, overall, feels very well managed at the moment. If I run into a really bad situation, I'm not going to feel bad using, uh, you know, 8 or 12 bombs or something. There's two. Here's orb three. No exit seen yet. I feel like the exit's going to be on the bottom here, though. All right, that's a rope. Okay, exit's not here. That's for Ooh, it is here, though. I think I see it. I do. Doesn't seem like an unlikely circumstance that the jelly comes from the left-hand side after I pop this. Though, I believe it's still going to be on the right. That got a little weird. Easy does it, friendo. Yeah, there's been very few um, temples on this cosmic ocean, and I agree with that assessment. That's going to be the main places that a lot of resources get used, so we're fortunate that hasn't happened. Chip Chapman, reporting for duty. Wasn't actually sure if that was possible, but it sure felt like it should be. Alright, that's a good orb three. Let's check out over here real quick. Is that actually orb three here? Feels like it is. The place I haven't seen is to the right here and down. Yeah. Okay, I can cut in here. It's not easy, but I can do it. All right, this has to be orb three then. No. Okay. That's not orb three. Orb three is going to be very bottom. Or perhaps over here somewhere. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Okay, good. <laughs> not in a super weird location. There's that. I'm bombing in here. Not keen on using the outside of the level if I don't have to. I definitely don't have to here. Right, here's the exit. Here's two orbs. That's the last two, in fact. Oh, 
Okay, orb. Okay, I see an orb just to the right-hand side of the jelly. This is looking good. There's one. Two, three. Let's make sure our way to the exit is cleared. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that was my fault, but also got a little bit scared by that side. Alright, here's orb 3. I'm not sure where the exit is from here, so we're gonna do a little due diligence and figure that out before I pop it. I think it's right in this area. Or this level is much bigger than I anticipated. Let's pop this. This level is much bigger than I anticipated. Okay, it also puts the... Uh, the exit to the left here. I see it just below us, actually. Cool. Uh, I'm going to bomb through here. Yes, orbs have a uh, sound, a different sound, and they also have a different animation for each orb pop, one, two, and three. Chip Chapman, reporting for duty. go around. Yes, animation is a much clearer indicator than sound. That's true. Especially because if the uh, two orbs get popped at the same time, the uh, noise will become obfuscated by the first orb pop. It's a pretty good last orb, but maybe not. All right, there's one. Let's go through here. It looks like this orb down here is going to be perfect last orb. Uh, two perfect last orbs here, even. Help me out, Mr. Frogs. Thanks, buddy. Yo, Jolly Roger, thanks for 88 months. Jay Saber, thanks for 37 as well. Three years and climbing. 
appreciate it. Well, I think it's very fair to say after what we've done here um, that we are very capable of completing Backless Cosmic Ocean. We've already done well more than a third of the entire Cosmic Ocean without back equipment approaching uh, the halfway point. In fact... Okay, that's Orb 2. Let's pop it. That would have been the optimal last orb. That's an easy two bomber for me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, this is at least on the side of the level, so not too complicated to get back to. Gonna throw a rope for my own convenience anyways. Huh. Let's try cutting in here real fast. This is kind of where I started, I think. This makes me feel like the last orbs on the bottom tile set. Yeah, down here. There's enemies I haven't seen, then. This is definitely it. You know what, you Jang Shi? Come on, bud. It's not three. Okay. I, that's right, I left one by the exit. No, I didn't. I'm lying to myself. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> all right, that was not worth. I was like, oh, cool, I got a new technique I can use. No, hold on a minute. All right, guys, after uh, 766 here, which should be the two-thirds way uh, of Cosmic Ocean, I am going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Also going to put this feller on cam right here. I'll be back in just a few minutes for the continuation of this backless Cosmic Ocean. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. I was just thinking on break. Um, this is the best string of... Oh, please don't. Turn around. Sorry. Yes. Okay, this is the best string of backless uh, I've ever put together by about double. I gotta be really careful when this is done. There is no amount of resources I can use here that's gonna be too many to make the level safe. I need to clear an area. That's a great last orb. I need to clear an area around uh, around stuff. Get ready for the challenge to come. Really glad I was able to turn around that mummy. I also believe this level is just not very big. Okay, there we go. Dead. Get dead, sir. <laughs> Teleport is a really interesting drop being backless. I'm not quite there yet. Let's get our... Let's get the rest done. I'm not convinced we're making $7.99 here, but if we did, it definitely would be uh, the most accomplished victory. Sure. Backless Cosmic Ocean is no joke. It's devastatingly difficult. It requires complete knowledge of the tile sets and movement sets. I'm going to definitely get to Teleporter in Cosmic Ocean. I think it's a good tool here. Uh, it just requires a different system. And if it comes come into the teleporter style run with a much different mindset than we have right now. Right now, I'm already stretching the limit of what I'm capable of in the game. Okay. So here we go. We have that right on the side there. Okay, this level's just not very big. Love it. Okay, there's a Krokoman on the exit scene. Okay, this level's not big. Awesome. So there's going to be one more orb up here. Somewhere. Is that really orb three right now? I bet it is because the uh, the mummy's locust popped it. See where this crocoman's at in his rotation. All right, I'm going to wait for him to get turned around. There's still time to do this. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, never mind. It's getting scary. That might do it. Christ. Okay. Next step right here. To make his platform a little bit smaller, that's okay. Well, it's fair to say that now that we're here, there's no time limit. Okay, let's do this real quick. Okay, better. Goodbye. Not unexpected. That was a very difficult uh, level time-wise because we traded health for time. There's two. Okay. Looks like an exit here, maybe. The last orb wants to be right here. That'd be awesome. There it is. Okay, there's that. I'm going to clean this up. Yeah, Mache did good work. It's done now. Is 
a real hero while it was here. Kept me alive for sure. Machete was even mostly a life-gaining uh, ability. Okay, interesting. I can see there's a little hook in to getting um, back to the exit through the right-hand side here. There's two. Or left hand side, rather. My brain mixes up what's left and what's right a lot when I'm thinking about Cosmic Ocean. It's to have something to do with how my brain imagines the. <laughs> how circular it is. Fair. Okay, going up. Um, I want to see this for myself before I commit. What if I just use two ropes right here instead? Alright. Probably coming from the top, indeed. Later, Tater. Yeah, we lost our jetpack on 723, Doomrick, on this run. So we've been 47 levels without back equipment. Okay, let's not do that. Like, oh, I'll just jump over the jelly and then break my legs. Well, this does leave a bit of a pickle on how we're getting around. Probably bombing. I think throwing this does it. Yep, sure does. I knew that wasn't going to feel good, but I knew it'd work. And that it works is the important part. And don't get me wrong, I would happily put a jetpack back on. Uh, we're here without it. We're going to make the best of it. Alright, I'm going to bomb that. And I think very obviously that's our third orb. Alright, this level is not very deep, I just found out. Hmm. There's just not a cut in? Two orbs seen right away. That's a good feel. Let's uh, let's leave the one right below the exit for now. Should be easy to get back to. All right, here's the exit and an orb. It's a bomb here, so we can get both. Later, Tater. And we'll not be using the outside of the level. Don't have to worry about stuff filtering in.
All right, why does this feel wrong? It's fine. Gonna wait for the lizard to turn around. This is our first Cosmic Ocean J, I think uh, run number four or something like that. Not tracking individual attempts, but very early into Jay's adventure. Okay, that makes a good last orb. Oh, whoa. The spikes down there, probably. That's also a beautiful last orb. Better than the starting one. Just gotta find orb three now. Can make that jump, but I'm gonna choose not to. Unless this is two. No, it's definitely one. So the area down and right of the exit is the unseen area now. There it is. Actually, three pretty good last orbs. No outside arrow trap either. Handy. Okay, good last orb for two ropes. Sign me up. This is the truer uh, side. Okay, it's a complete wraparound. No, uh... Ooh, it's kind of weird. Okay, well, I'm just going to use another rope here for safety. I can uh, grab the edge of the uh, the platform there and stand next to the jelly and not get blown up, but this will be nicer. Okay, I'm going to pop this jetpack. We've demonstrated already how difficult it is to uh, keep jetpack active on this run, because my main way around the level is dropping through. Cool. So we're just going to pop it right now. Yep, that, that marks 50 levels of backless. Amazing. Still at a great uh, resource counter here as well. a very good orb three if I can kill this witch doctor. I'm gonna do so with the bomb. Savor the flavor. Later tater. Alright, that's pretty slam dunky. Let's make sure there's no critter. Oh, there is a critter. Not today, Mr. Lizard. Alright, we take these. 20 second backless level? Hell yeah.
<laughs> boomerang in the jungle. Fair. That's true. All right, ceiling is pretty busted at the moment. Uh, I want to fix this up mainly because if I drop through the top hand side, that witch doctor could currently hex us. Pretty big level here. That's a pretty beautiful last orb. All right. The very least we have secured the area around the exits. Let's take a look in there. Let's look over here too. Bomb. That's one. All right, if that's one, I do need to go back over this way. Glad that was a spider and not a scorpion. What the hell? Okay, well, I think I know what's going on now. What's going on is we're using another bomb. Get through here. I heard the orb. It's going to be bottom left. There it is. Barely heard that one in my headset. Now we can loop back through. Is the exit not this way? What the hell? Here it is. Yeah, okay. Busy level. Busy level. See, out of levels that I have to do with no back equipment, type rule's pretty high on the ones I want to see. There's less hazards here that are detrimental on the side of the level, so it gives us easier access to our limited movement kit. It's kind of a yuck. Definitely not saving that one for last. This one, though... Okay. I don't like the way this looks. I'm just going to use two ropes then. There we go. Easy orb three. Not pleased about that. All right, so borked. I mean, honestly, what this is telling me is that the orbs are on the bottom and I have tons of ropes, so let's just go over here. Yep, sausage fingered the first rope on the start of this one. That's what happened. I did it. I done goofed. Okay, the other orbs on the right of the exit. 
Is this worth a bomb to me? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, with a little bit of work, that actually makes a good orb three. Let's go find the other ones. Might not need to. It's like a pretty great orb as well. How good is it? Exit's just right here. Oh, yeah. Let's grab an urn because I think I'm going to need it to pop that. tough one. Alright, this exit needs a considerable cleanup. Let's just get to it right now. Yes, those ropes were the backlist tax, and one of the first taxes we've had on this uh, this run. It's a good descriptor, though. We weren't getting out of that one without using a resource. Alright, exit's fixed. So the side of the level is pretty messed up. We got that good last orb for a bomb. Not totally convinced right now, though. Okay, that's the orb we're getting for a bomb. Is this two? All right, if that's two, we're going to be all right. It's not right on the edge, so we're fine. Give me that. drop off the edge just yet. This looks safe enough, though. Huh. Alright, well, there's one. Let's bomb in. All right, there's three right there, so we gotta get down here and then figure out where the exit is from this orb. Got adequate time to do so. This is right on the edge of the level. Hmm. Okay, let's start here. That's it right there, I think. Okay, hold on. 
Hold up. No, that's where we started. Okay. I was wrong. Where is this exit at? Huh. Bottom, bottom right? Okay, okay. Got him. Big level. Huge. I think the jelly might come from the left here. Indeed, I hear it. Goodbye. Here's orb. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bomb this. I'm gonna bomb this. Okay, well, we've kind of cleared away. Throw a rope right here. Oh, wow. Marooned. It's actually a pretty good orb three. Still just gonna pop it now. I've got a feeling I need to. Okay, here it is. Just plan our way back to the exit now. Get rid of that. Okay, I think the elevator got exploded there. It's good. Yeah, that's a doozy. Let's just pop this now. All right, here's to hoping. Okay, that didn't pay off. Oh, is this it? Uh-oh. <laughs> GG. Well, I knew I was taking a risk there when I dropped over the edge without checking for an arrow trap. Unlikely that the first tile you can grab onto is an arrow trap, but uh, when we actually get around to attempting a full backless run, I'm going to keep that in mind. So the better play would have been to rope up the right hand side and get into the level rather than drop through. That was uh, by and large our best backless run yet. We did 61 levels with no bag equipment. Yo, Einborn, thanks for 85 months. Appreciate that continuation. Enjoy your, your lurk. Thank you. This has got me thinking about uh, the backless run. Yeah, I think with a couple of small changes to my process, the backlist is pretty, pretty good. Uh, just one note for myself on that one is the only level that we got into time trouble on was the mummy level. So that's 
that's a really good sign. Not only do we get 60 levels, but no time trouble. A couple close levels. But the temple that we gave up the almost two minutes to get to 99 health was the only real, uh... The real stoppage. All right, awesome. We're going to slide into uh, some Nova Drift now. Feeling like blowing some stuff up. Let me swap my title here in the game and get situated and we'll be into it. Oh, wrong button there. One moment. Yeah, I think rather than hop into another run of uh, of Splunky, I'd like to let that last run just kind of percolate for a minute. A lot of good things happened. All right, here comes Nova Drift. Well, the next update for this is like 80% complete or so. I should be on the beta branch sooner rather than later. No update required for this game to be fully complete for me, though. Okay, hold on. We're going to tab back into Nova Drift. We're there. Excuse me for less than two minutes here. Just going to refill my water and stretch real quick, and then we'll head into a uh, run of Nova Drift. Nova Drift is a roguelike score game um, in an asteroid style based in a biomechanical universe where you choose branching upgrades for your ship, starting with weapon, uh, shield, and then hull type, and then a whole lot of different stuff from there. Uh, be right back. All right, here we go. Sip of water, and then we'll head on in. See how we're playing. Might try an Annihilation. Oh, one second. I gotta grab my pillow real fast for my prop up. All right, we good. Okay, no draft mode. I might try draft at another point. I'm going to tab back in. Here we go. Okay, there we go. No draft. The draft, you can start on wave 100 and uh, draft out all of your skills. Pretty cool. What weapon do we want to try today? I'm going to go give Torrin a try here. Torrin's definitely very interesting.
I want more of a normalized shield here. Let's go for orbital. Torrent suffers from range issues, but that's not not the end of the world. Let's read Torrent's tooltip. Deploy a close range, widespread, rapid fire lattice of energy. Projectiles travel in waves and degenerate over time. Minus 30% thrust while firing. Okay. 20 damage per projectile, 3 times 2, rate of fire 12 a second. So definitely things that stack damage over time, like Corrosion, are going to be good. Anything that adds damage per projectile, also going to be good. I believe I'm going to take Firefly here, so we can have better mobility uh, while deploying the Lattice. Just got to adjust my monitor real quick, a little different for mouse and keyboard and controller. better. Uh, I have not tried Torrent since Infusion's been added into the game. That could be very interesting, though the second we take Discharge, we're going to have uh, no shields. Okay, this is too much. Perfecto. I think drones are going to be mint here. They're a secondary source of damage, and they'll give us a little more range. Um, going to take Revelation, extra cursive wild mod. You choose to gain additional two times, so plus one level at the end of that. Ooh, get roasted. Okay, magnitude is basically free damage. Increase projectile size, damage, and blast radius. Looks like projectile size is projectile duration. Makes sense. Does our velocity affect the projectiles? Yes, so I can push forward the lattice by thrusting into the enemy. Fair. Uh, any legend in chat know how adding projectiles works for lattice? It seems like a weapon you can get away without many um, upgrades on. Velocity looks good because it'll make the projectiles travel faster and further, and then Snipe will add damage per projectile. Doesn't seem bad. Knockback on firing seems ridiculously bad since we're firing 12 times a second. Yeah, I'll take Velocity here. I think that defense drones are more likely to succeed here, but I am going to consider assault drones because assault drones add vulnerability once you reach the fleet commander uh, mod. Since we're going to be up close and personal, though, uh, hard to imagine defense drones being uh, bad.
All right, I'm going to go into Candescence here because Corrosion is probably the biggest damage modifier for us because your damage applies corrosive stacks to targets, igniting them for 2.5 burning damage a second uh, per stack. That's less per weapon hits. When a target affected by corrosive uh, stack dies, it distributes its stacks to nearby targets. Additional stacks are distributed based on the maximum hull of the destroyed enemy. Okay, thank you, Drew. So adding projectiles on um, Torrent creates more streams of the lattice. Right now we're at three times two, so adding a projectile would make it four times two. Gotcha. Well, we're firing six projectiles 12 times a second right now, so corrosion has to be like the ultimate, the ultimate add. That's pretty. That's pretty. Yo, there it is. Corrosion is also awesome on segmented enemies because the corrosion moves from enemy to enemy as they expire. Take payload here. All right, here's Snipe. Snipe's adding damage per projectile and making the Lattice stream much further. Seems good. Look at all those burns. Sick. Okay, burn damage is not it. Drones will protect you from enemy blast or burn damage. Let's go. Let's try adding projectiles here. See, minus 20% blast radius, total projectile damage. Uh, minus 10% projectile size and projectile velocity, plus 20 vol spread, okay? Yes, indeed. We now have five streams of projectiles. Right on. That helps our... Um, Single target damage a lot. Ooh, you see that burn get over uh, 1,000 there real quick? Sure did. My man, you're getting the spicy pepper, okay? Get roasted. I can see adaptive armor being very good later. Let's take it. Okay, that's true. Does velocity reduce rate of fire? It does not. That's a good note that the more projectiles is slowing down the rate of fire a little bit. It's, uh, thanks for that. 
makes sense. Um, I'm gonna take thrusters here. Yikes, shields down. Somewhat debating going regeneration and dropping the shield mods here. That's spicy. No, I want to try infusing here. Construct maximum hole. Construct assembly speed per level. We're only currently using drones. I don't know about that. Let's use a roll here. Counter pulse is more than decent. Ooh, deflagration would also be quite good. Dealing crash damage head on to an enemy, burning enemy will remove any ignites and trigger purge. Purge creates a caustic nova that rolls over targets. Duration of purge scales with the combined duration of any ignites removed. That should be good here. I gotta see it. I'm gonna try um, hitting something and then just bumping into it should cause a. Yeah, big explosion. This will be an even better spot to test it out. Yeah, that, that red blop was uh, deflagration or purge going off. Getting to deflagration would be a great spot for this build to work towards. Okay, roll once. Streamline's tempting. I feel like firing ray is going to be bad. I feel like splinter could be interesting to say the least. Let's take kinetic boost here. Global damage increases your speed does. So if we swipe stuff with these burn stacks and then zip away, they start taking more burn damage. Popping off pretty quick there, huh? Don't be rude now. I don't really believe in the rest of this tree. I want to try blast radius actually, so she'll add a little bit of blast damage to every single hit. This further increases our segmented enemy uh, killing capability. I think we've been operating just fine without targeting. Let's go three times grandeur here. Plus two levels, so we'll gain six levels off of this. We lose thrust and rotation speed, but I plan on going um, agility anywho. Let's grab Skirmish. Ricochet. I gotta see how this works with Ricochet. Okay, here's Stabilization. Agility's on deck now. Concentrated Blast or High Explosive? I want High Explosive for the D-Flag uh, to get to Rupture. Let's just take shield durability here. There's agility. Okay, so now we can rotate real good. We're definitely fast enough for this point in the game. I'm gonna work towards strafe though, so I have better mobility later. I mean, whole strength's good. Not an essence at build. There's strafe.
Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. Now we're good. Ow. Guess my single target's not as good as I thought it was. That's fair. Explosive. Yeah, definitely not bad. We did one cycle them. That's true. That's true. I guess the corrosion just not as um, direct as I was thinking it was going to be. I'll definitely take little fellas here at least once. Oh yeah, reflective shields, true. I do that to myself. Yeah, I think homing would have helped out a lot, though I'm not convinced that's the way forward with torrent. I'm thinking infusion is probably probably a well, fun run nonetheless. Get some dart action going. I'm going to go Halo Shield here with the intention of dropping my shield. I do Corsair here. Plus three projectiles, projectile weapons, 10% rate of fire, minus 60% projectile spread. The size down and the weapon damage down are tough for uh, darts, but I think this, this ship really pops off once you get Warp Strike going. And to that, to that goal, we're going to uh, take any and all pieces to Warp Strike when we see them, starting with improved thrusters here. Corsair like Firefly is a very um, fast vessel. All right, let's go for a Deadly Wake here. Could see infused darts working here. 
All right, here's Blink. Awesome. Crazy to have Blink right here on wave 20. Deadly Wake doing the work. Alright, homing, absolutely. Okay, more projectiles, yes. Yo, Tanino Sound, thanks for 21 months. Appreciate that continuation, dude. Thank you. Okay, piece of warp strike. <laughs> I forgot how uh, impervious we are to those missiles with Halo Shield. That's cool. Yo, warp strike in the pool right now. Firing Ray does affect both sides here. It's not a bad pickup. I'm going to go for Skirmish to work towards Essence Sap. Warp Strike's probably going to show up sooner rather than later because there's hardly any super mods in the pool currently. Alright, there's Terminate. Revelation then. Take it while we see it for the bonus. Where is me warp strike at? Now this is quite interesting. I will definitely miss whole strength if I banish that, but Rampage, don't care. Slipstream, we're a fast enough ship, probably don't need it. Homing Strike is so-so because our projectiles are already so small. And Incendiary Strike, I don't want. Let's just take whole strength here. Despite the relative goodness of all those mods, it still does cost me a level to take that. Thank you. 
toasty. Too early for this mod. Kinetic boost is a massive damage or increase overall if we're zip zooping around stuff has darts in it. And we're gonna be zip zooping, you believe it. Okay, essence sap. There it is. All right, warp strike. Now our projectiles wrap the screen. We do have reduced homing capability, but we have much, much, much better area coverage. We can also hang out on the edge and fire essentially both of our volleys into the same target if it's centralized. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna take mine specialist. I I will go loaded mines if they're gonna throw me that. The ship does have some advantages of loaded mines because we already start with bonus projectiles, so we're generating more projectiles per mine. Three ricochets is too many ricochets. One would be nice, though. Yeah, minus 45% projectiles seems very bad. Candescence time. Defiance ain't bad. I'm going to take Firing Array here. So this gives the central projectile uh, more size and damage. It's overall going to be a slight damage increase, I think. Maybe not, though, on Darts build. Anyways, it's going to make it look more dynamic. Fun. It's like it's being applied to both sides. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced that was actually good. Shield cooldown sounds alright. I will say I don't think it was bad. Take Scorching Wake here. It's gonna look cool. Was firing array like a huge damage down, or am I tripping right now? I think I'm just not uh, aiming very well. Yeah, I gotta get Guidance working, and we gotta get Mines before this actually accelerates. Let me read Firing Array real quick. 
Plus 20% total damage and blast radius for your central projectile. Other projectiles also receive adjustments to total projectile damage and blast radius, incrementally decreasing to 0%, plus 30% size for the central projectile. Huh. So I actually want more projectiles for this to pay off. Yeah, it looks like the ones on the outside are super tiny. I'm thinking that maybe on Courser specifically, uh, we're receiving an additional uh, size down on the outer projectiles because we technically have two center projectiles. That makes sense. That would also mean I do not want uh, more projectiles here. Lesson learned. Challenger. We've got a huge Celestial here, right on. Okay, I'm taking mines now, because getting loaded, just one more upgrade to loaded mines transforms this build a bit. There it is. Now more or less we worry about dodging. Bravado is not terrible. Rate of fire is looking a lot more desirable now that we have mines going. A very fun stream today. As a reminder, we have our all-day Sunday stream per usual tomorrow. And then another one on Monday before we roll this whole thing over again. Okay, here's Guidance. This is a big deal. I don't even have Magnitude yet. Oh, that's why my damage is lacking. No payload. Okay, Guidance, though, because now our... Darts have slightly better homing, actually a lot better homing, and since homing is reduced by half when things screen wrap with Warp Strike, that little bit goes a long way. Let's keep it corrosive. Okay, a little bit aggressive there. That'll happen. Get roasted. Let's 
Scorching Wake's so cool. What a mod. Weapon mastery is a lot of positives. Noise. Thanks, Galaxy. Thanks, Universe. scary perhaps mismanaged <laughs> i'll admit it all right here's magnitude there we go this is way more damage for every single dart we own which is more than a couple I don't know about convergence. It would be even more darts, though. Let's take uh, let's take warpath. Warpath is not going to be wrong. Gain fire rate for enemies killed up to about thirty percent. Yes, bugs want hugs. I know, I know. That they do. No hugs, though. Okay, plus burn damage. There's a little bit of healing, too. We get uh, burn damage per... Ignited enemy, which is every enemy that has a dart in it. I should not have spun him around like that, but I did. I did. Get roasted. Hit him with the afterburners. shield back right here. Uh, Death Blossom is pretty cool. Is it too late for Death Blossom? I'm going to say no. This run could definitely end up getting infused.
Do I turn down a single twin strike? Probably not. Yeah, single twin strike seems fine. Extra projectile. More darts is more damage. Uh, effect of darts is for every dart stuck in the enemy, it amplifies damage by 1%. So additional projectiles are even more desirable than usual. Yo, Dragonfire, thanks so much for 12 months in a six month streak. Appreciate the year. Alright, payloads fire right down, but is like a 40% damage increase per dart. Gotta have it. Yeah, Twin Strikes are great as a one-off. I agree, Entropic. If you take a lot of Twin Strikes, the negative regeneration is very painful, but just one or two Twin Strikes feels pretty good most of the time. It's a lot of benefit for not a huge detriment indeed. I might as well take this to get burnout reactors in there. This will uh, greatly increase the rate of mine construction if we get that next perk. Certainly not gonna be bad. Yo, Zendria, thanks for 59 months. One more for five years. There it is. Plus 30% assembly speed for non-shield constructs. Plus 30% rate of fire, movement, rotation, and orbit speed. Self-destruction damage becomes burn damage. Ignites targets for 30, burning damage a second. Construct rate of fire increases as their hold decreases up to a total of 50%. So basically here we're going to be putting out mines faster, and instead of enemies having to run into them, they'll just be popping periodically. So we gain a much different cadence to our damage, which is uh, very positive because we're having constant applied damage. Not to mention it's faster and there's more darts inside. Not much yet, Dragonfire. Played the new characters a little bit, but haven't taken a full deep dive. Update looks real good, though. It's 
roll here. Absorption is definitely good. I would like agility a lot right now. Tough wave right here. Okay, this is this is we're escalating now. Now we do three burst fire shots. This also means twenty percent more darts per mine. That's good. Okay, let's roll that. There's agility. I was just talking about wanting that. Oh yeah, we turn in now. This is real mobility. Yo, Agrafan, thanks for making it official with Prime. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Thank you. All right, let's just take strafe now. So now I can do blink and strafe. Uh, strafe is great because I can uh, boost to a new position on the screen. I need to quickly get, get somewhere. I'm trying to work this into my play. And the more I've used strafe, the more I really enjoy it as a, as a movement ability.
getting spicy in here. Adaptive armor definitely has some benefits. Let's do a roll, though. Ooh, galva one galvanic outburst doesn't seem bad at all. Minefield as well. Yeah, let's go minefield. This uh, plus 50% mine assembly speed means we're getting even faster cadence of mines. We'll have slightly less, in fact, quite a few less darts per mine, but... It'll be going off at such a rate that if I have um, mismanagement of space and we end up on the side of the map, we're not having... I don't know, I didn't articulate that very well. I like having faster mines with less darts. I think it's overall a damage increase for darts, and if the mines are misplaced, it's less big of a deal. Okay, wave two hundy in the house. This is the real deal right here. This is sketchy, man. Whoa! Okay. I blinked uh, a little bit further south than I thought I did. Bear. Alright, short break for me, and then we will uh, head into another one. 100% uh, my fault on that death. All right, we're back. Let's uh, let's do it again. This time, maybe without blowing up. At least not as quickly. Sector positioning. There we go. Let's 
go for pulse here. So pulse is interesting. I might die as soon as we unpause here. What shield do I want for pulse? I kind of want um, siphon here. Let's go. I wonder how Spectre works with Pulse. You'll decloak instantly when you deploy a construct or use an active mobility power. Two point five percent cloak rate and cloaked total cloak damage per your whole level. You know, I'm going to try Spectre here because, I mean, we're not going to be fully cloaked all the time or very often even, but we can, uh, like, start drifting towards something and cloak and then blast them as an idea. Okay, creates powerful electro electromagnetic blast centered on you. Hits in two radio waves, the smaller of which deals twice as much damage. Fires secondary projectiles in a 240 degree cone. I don't think rate of fire is all that important, but burst fire is a large increase. Something to do. Okay, Blast Radius, definitely a must-take here as well. Where'd he go, George? Where'd he go? Do you see me? He must have. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to see that. It was pretty good. I have to actually say Ricochet sounds good. How many projectiles are you producing? A lot. 12. So we'd be producing 10 shards instead of 12 here. I want to see it. I think I think the bouncing projectile is pretty powerful. Our projectiles don't have a huge lifespan, but it's still bonus damage. Okay, ex explosive radius, I mean. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take triple fire here, and I really believe we're pretty much done with the offense now. I wanna start taking defensive stuff. Yeah, it went from 12 to 10. Okay, I was right on that. I wanna check my math real fast. Alright, four of the next recursive wild mod we take, yes. Let's go shield cooldown here.
Mm, <laughs> rupture is definitely decent. Thinking about infusing the projectiles seems interesting. Maybe a bit dangerous, so let's roll right now. Alright, stabilization. Stabilization could be used to maneuver while um, staying cloaked. Okay. Oh, dude, this has definitely got to be it. Okay, so evolutionary niche, your body's gear powers are improved by 10%. So for every 10%, we're getting an additional possible 25% total weapon damage. And... 0.25 cloak rate per level. That is, uh, extravagant. So, 100% total possible damage. And additional cloak rate per level. The cloak rate per level gets really strong, like you start cloaking almost immediately. Um, which is very confusing for enemies. Shield effect radius quite effective on siphon. I'm gonna go for it. Like right now, I can even siphon them down while staying cloaked. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Is it cloak damage per level? Yes, and cloak total weapon damage. You're right. So for every four levels, we get an additional one percent uh, total weapon damage and. 1% cloak rate. That'll add up. Blitz has to be okay. 20% weapon damage. What about focus shields? This is what we want. So we're going to take focus shields here. We're already to the point where we're cloaking very fast. I can see uh, Spectre working with Pursuit drones at higher levels. The enemies will target... Um, Drones, you have to be careful with that. And you do decloak when you uh, do a drone. I can see it's still working. Wow, big money damage. Go, Spectre, go. I definitely have not played this build, uh, Rick. First try for it. Seems to be a fun idea. I think there's something good here. I think Discharge is a way forward on this. Let's take Volatile Shields. Because Discharge will deal shield damage to us, but we get uh, Electric Tendrils on the shot. There be. Oh yeah, give him the zippy zappy. Hmm. 
Who takes shield durability? Yo, Magdalene, thank you so much for eight wonderful months. Really appreciate that continuation. Thank you. Magnitude looks okay. Barriers overall pretty good. Sanctuary here. Hmm. Rupture is also just awesome. Let's take let's take rupture. Looks to me like the increased weapon damage on the charge is increasing the length of the discharge bolt. Okay, weaponized shields big time here. So now if we hang out close to stuff, uh, it's going to take bonus damage. Get bodied, friend. This is going to be ridiculously good. This is a source of damage that I can use while cloaked to hit stuff. We're also pretty heavy on wild mods right now. I mean, yes, I want want to take this just because it adds more orbs of discord after I take the wild mod, whatever that's going to be. Okay, maybe the cloak is not increasing the discharge. Our discharge is out of control right now. Is swole. <laughs> no. I can see three times Galvanic Outburst being pretty good here. Uh, there is a direct synergy between a shield effect power and weaponized shields modified by shield effect power. What else does shield effect power do for us? Shield effect power increases the damage on our shields and also would affect the amount of healing on shields from that. That sounds pretty good. What else could we get here that would make more sense? I think the thing that would make the most sense would be taking uh energize shields to reduce our fire rate further and have a larger discharge uh, tendril but I could definitely see galvanic outburst being nice and it does play well with the orbs of discord here too all right let's uh, let's take it let's keep it spicy we now have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven wild mods That's more than a couple.
keep it spicy, keep it pepper. Nah, no, no last stand here. Efficiency, definitely. We're not firing very often, so this is basically an additional 20% shield cooldown. Sounds dope. Nice one. What's conversion doing right now? Plus base hole and shields. Your maximum hole is greater than your maximum shields. Convert 30% of your maximum shields to maximum hole. Well, our shields are bigger than our hole right now. Well, 100 base, 100 base. So is it the same? Do I have anything else modifying this? Shields 130, hole 100. So that would take our shields from 130 to 150. Is discharge damage based on the size of shield? The answer is no. Barrier is definitely acceptable. I'm kind of liking getting reg regression in the pool. I'm not sure if this build ends up going Sanctuary. Uh, I like Sanctuary, but the minus, um, the minus movement hurts later game. It's a tough call. I guess at worst is still plus five base hole and shields. Let's take adaptive armor instead. Uh, now when we use discharge, we're getting three stacks of adaptive armor. So we're doing three iterations of self damage. Agility is good. How does this winnow feel? Yo, Bapa, thanks so much for seven months. Glad you could make it. I don't believe in polar inversion here. Uh... The issue I have with Polar Inversion, while I agree it'd be additional damage, is that <laughs> we have to gauge exactly how close we can or cannot be to an enemy before we fire. Otherwise, the reverse knockback procking three times is going to vacuum them into our ship and do uh, damage. If we had the Apotheosis Super Mod on top of this, though, then collision damage would be removed from that calculation, uh, which is interesting. I think I don't want to mess with the way uh, knockback and pull directions work. Not right now, anyways. What kind of regeneration am I going to take here? Okay, I'm going to take agility because I do want strafe as my move around. I know our cloak breaks when we use 
strafe, but only momentarily, and stabilization does not. So we can uh, dash and start cloaking while we're floating to our new destination. The later this goes on, it really becomes a positioning game with this build. Channeling looks good. I'm in. Okay, I already took one ricochet. It's been okay, but I definitely don't need another. Let's go for improved thrusters now. Improved thrusters means I can maintain my cloak more readily while uh, tapping around. Where am I? There I am. Little fellers never feel bad. Let's roll it again. All right, here's strafe. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, awesome. So yes, yeah, strafing does break my cloak, but... We're back to cloak by the time we get to where we're going. Deadly Wake is another source of damage. Probably not here, though. Let's roll one time. Let's roll again. Adding in Loaded Mines Minefield would be a way to hit some stuff pretty good. Let's do one more roll. Does Gemini Protocol have a use here? I think so. Yeah, if we take Gemini Protocol plus regeneration here, then we have a... We have enough sustain to make something happen. Speaking of regeneration, can I get that now, please? There it is.
Now I'd like a hyper metabolism. That's the one. Tuck in right here. There it is. Another double tap's not not crazy. One more rolled in. Bear. I'm just going to take whole strength here. Higher whole means higher regeneration value. It's percentage based. Reflexive shields, definitely not bad. I'll take reflexive shield here. Wave 100. Glaucious, all right. Oh my god, I'm inside, that's not good. Cool, they don't have a target. Oh no, get out of there. I almost died there at the end. It was fun, though. One more roll here. All right, fine. I'll take magnitude.
only level 33. We got a lot of meat left on um, mods to pick here. I need to increase my defense a lot. We're getting there, though. Cloak rate's getting pretty quick right now. How many projectiles are we producing right now? Zero. We have shards, though. Does infusion go to the shards? I don't think that's worth it here either way. Energized shields. I'm gonna take it for uh, just dis discharge reasons. Regression do now. I'll do that. The last reroll here. Fine. Is this it? Nope, this is not it. Spicy run. Boom. I'm going to try infuse here just to see how it works. Okay, the shards do infuse. That's nice. Just a little more reach, I suppose. wacky build. That was a lot of fun. Let's do it again. I'm ready for some flack right now. Or not. Let's 
go for flak here. Yeah, I'm gonna be back to an iteration of that build. I'm not sure when, but um, I got I got several ideas off of that one. All right, we're gonna go for a scrubsy bubsy black build. Here we go. I do want to get here. This is the easiest damage upgrade on Flak. Let's just go into this now. Okay, I'm certainly going to take Elgin Construction too. I'm just going to improve the hull and rate of construction of my little guys and any other constructs we might take after this. I'll consider this after I have um, Vital Bond if I go that way. Um, blast radius very good for flak, as is targeting. Let's go and take blast radius for now. This gives every projectile a little splash damage. Super useful on segmented enemies. All right, I'll go shielded constructs. Instead of protecting you, your shield protects standard and advanced constructs deployed by you, plus 50% shield damage resistance for constructs, plus 10% hull damage resistance, plus 10 base hull, and 10% maximum hull. I do not currently have any advanced little fellows. But when I make one, they'll have the bubbles. I very much want improved thrusters. Every time we make a small construct, there is a chance we get an advanced or... What is the wording on this? Standard or advanced construct. These are just basic constructs. The standard and advanced types can both take the shield. Okay. Self-destruction, no deadly wake, streamline. I'm probably going to end up taking streamline. Am I married to taking blink at the moment? I think so. Shield cooldown, also good. Scorching wake, interesting here too. Pretty much streamline right now is going to be the only way I survive mobility-wise late game. Well, I don't like dropping hull on a hull-only protection build. It would also be really helpful if I could produce some uh, constructs to take this shield. There's one. There's one. Get him. Almost dead. Doesn't even count. Yeah, uh, Hannah, thanks for 66 months, five and a half years. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's go focus fire here, because behind that is double projectiles, which will bring us to 42 projectiles, I think. All right, now we have a couple uh, advanced constructs as well. Nice.
Get them, scrubbing bubbles, little guys. I'm not totally against the idea of taking drones here. The downside of specialist mods is 40% total assembly speed for other constructs is a harsh detriment. Let's just add some targeting into our weapon. I'm going to take regeneration here, so I have some kind of whole regeneration. Go for magnitude. All right, now we have four advanced constructs. Awesome. Okay, let's take double projectiles. I do want blink, but damage is damage. Now we're spritzing. I'm pretty certain Galvanic Outburst works with Shielded Constructs. I also think Snipe is the clearest damage upgrade outside of Corrosion we're going to find. I'm going to take whole strength at the moment, though. I don't think our offense is hurting. Look at these lads maneuvering in there. Wow. I'm impressed they didn't lose shield continuity there. Well, I don't have any wild mods yet, but I will admit the Discord orbs are very useful on whole-only builds. Just a little extra protection versus small enemies reaching us. Alright, let's take more defense absorption. Flat damage reduction per hit. Oh yeah, six advanced constructs right now. Hell yeah. The little orbs that are floating around our drones on the orbital shield uh, also degenerate uh, enemy projectiles, so reduce them in size and damage so they dissipate. So in a situation like this, it can absorb a lot of the projectile strength out of enemies. Okay, getting to Corrosion greatly increases our damage, but I'm going to take Blink at the moment, because now I can position myself through enemies, or just reposition for offense. The Scrubsy Bubsies are back. Targets take more global damage the more damage you are. Bonus averages damage proportions of both hull and shield. True. Let's 
I'm going to take a hyper metabolism here. This will actually bring my uh, whole regeneration to a point where it's not so uh, terrifying if I go down to low hole. It's still tough, but I don't feel as bad. So regeneration right now, 5.76 a second. Okay. This window is actually looking pretty decent. The thing we lose here is payload, which hurts a little bit. Charge shot could be uh, a nice damage increase towards the end of this run. But I'm going to take Winnow to remove all this stuff. There's other routes we can go that aren't just uh, flat damage increased projectiles. I think Apotheosis is a very strong mod, but I don't put that much weight into it because projectiles are also very dangerous. Never unhappy to have it, but I don't think it, it solves that much. Okay, definitely no on this. Let's go ahead and take velocity here. Snipe is a worthwhile damage increase because adding damage per projectile and we're at 42 projectiles currently. It's more than a couple. Yes, if we take the channeling route, that's true, that uh, regeneration becomes more effective with armor stacks. Gotta take one more mod first, though. Oh yeah. Next occurs with wild my issues gain additional three times and then banish. Okay. You've been scrubs and and bubs and scrub bubbles. Yeah, rapid fire seems appropriate now. I'm wondering if I even need corrosion at this moment. Okay, sniperoni. Just the extra velocity is super helpful for reach. Now we're spritzing. Four times Scorching Wake is always a temptation for me because it just adds a ton of burning damage into the build and provides a secondary source of damage. 
Shield cooldown is also very good. Let's stay on plan here and go shield cooldown. I also have to take Splinter if I'm going to take Charge Shot eventually. Not convinced. Force armor, you bet. All those shields, definitely not bad. I think Tempest Break is kind of what I want. It does diminish the value of the orbs a little bit, but um, the multiple iterations of the Volatile Shield slash Tempest Break is really nice here because we get that damage on everything that's close to all of the Swarmers, which is usually the same enemy. Get roasted. Oh, Singularity's back. Howdy do. I'll be over here, thanks. Okay, no warp strike here. Guidance. I don't think I want minus velocity. Calibrate's interesting. Slipstream's also interesting, but I'd like this a lot more if I had stabilization already. Let's just do a reroll. On most builds, I'd be all about Farsight. Here, though, mm -mm. this reduces the effectiveness of our projectiles overall, I think. Okay, I need both Deadly Wake and Flash Shielding to get Tempest Break. Interesting. Let's roll again. Burst fire is generally positive. I'm going to take the four burning wake here. I want my own source of burning damage. Yo, Mako Stygian, thanks for that two months. Appreciate that continuation. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Mako even, my apologies. Shield effect radiance. Shield effect power. Yes, I will take shield effect radius, shield effect power right now.
You know what? I'm interested in Tempest Break. I'm going to work towards it. I don't think it's, like, the best thing ever, but it's, it interests me here. I haven't taken it on this particular build. I want to see how it interacts with the Orbital Shield. I think this same build with the Siphon on the shield is more powerful, uh, at least at this point in the game. More powerful doesn't necessarily mean better. This has a really nice effect of messing up the enemy projectiles. Okay. Okay, adaptive armor, fine. Big bada boom. More shield effect power. Okay. Roll it. Roll it again. Okay, challenger I'm in. <laughs> oh, Glaucius is the challenger. Okay. Unless... No, this is wave 100. He spawned the same time as the challenger. Interesting. Flash shielding, okay. Now Tempest Break is a possibility. Ooh, that was chunky. I enjoyed it. Uh-oh. We alive? Ish. Roasted. There's Tempest Break. Okay, so now our shield doesn't regenerate, but um, it explodes violently when it goes down, and then the interrupt the shield cooldown cannot be interrupted. So it's a pretty nice repeating effect. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You see that 13,000 burn that just happened? Sick. 
Maybe like Halo Shield with this is interesting. Stabilization, then. Dude, that is blapping. Wow. Assist from the universe. I'm gonna go ahead and work towards corrosion. Uh, this, at the very least, improves the scorching wake damage. Whoo! Keep it spicy. Keep it pepper. Do I really only have one advanced construct right now? That's tough. But also fair. Oh snap, I did drift into that circle, didn't I? Dang. Yo, fair is fair. That was a big bottom boom, I deserve that. All right, some very cool builds today. Uh, we're not done yet. We're going to head to the Splunky 2 daily first look. Now that the daily is rolled over, uh, our previous run, we went over 50 levels in Cosmic Ocean with no back equipment. It was pretty sick. Let's head back into the mine shaft. This will definitely be a first look. We're about an hour from reset right now. All right, well, I'm just going to plug in my controller here. I'm going to get a prediction going, too, and uh, take a short break before we kick off the daily official. Uh, prediction will be how far will this daily make it? You can choose the set of levels we die in or if we go all the way to the end. Let me plug in my controller here. We'll be started.
Alrighty, we'll be back in just a moment for Critter in the Hole and the official kickoff of the Spelunky 2 Daily First Look. Uh, be back in just a few minutes to kick her off. Good luck everybody does wager some of their channel points on the duration of this daily seed. Alrighty, we have returned. Still five minutes left on the prediction. If you want to get a guess going, your choice, though. Let's get some critter-related festivities going here. That run earlier was just incredible. All right, penguin in the hole looking good. Cricket, cricket to the moon. All right, a time for cricket. 180 turnaround. Chairs it down. There it is. One adjustment and then we'll be headed in. Beautiful.
Yo, Royal Senate. One more for four years indeed. Thank you for 47 months. Spelunky 2 daily begins right now. All right, we in it. All right, it's one critter fight, one one so far. That's right, I can rescue my hamster without hitting hitting it with a rock. Watch me. I'd like to get that torch there, but let's not. Okay, I'm interested. This is a heist. Quite an elaborate setup just to guard five hundo. Yo, Pyro Joe, thanks for 90 months of lurking. Speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call right now. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean, you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now you're trying to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You truly are the best of the best. Uh-oh. I really hope the dwelling's on the bottom floor here. It is. Thank goodness. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, look at all those beautiful lurkers. Let me pause and get caught up with you all. What's up? Mayday. Carson plays Krajabool. Hey there, Royal Ascended, Piece of Cake, Catman, it's good, broken perfectly, Psychol Backstar, Turtle Award winner, Sirius, Tuttles Gaming, Meyer Lurking, some Blue Chips, Clutch Kill, Frontal, it's good there, Lord Aspen, Ever the Odd One, Tolkien, Lurk Your Stream, Z Saber, Sargo Shadow Drink, Captain Jack and Spar, Radioactive Salmon, and all the other beautiful lurkers during that broken perfectly. Thanks for 63 months, Backstar, thanks for 49 as well. Wowzy wowzy. I feel like that might be a uh, bakey bakey dead guy. I'm going to use a one rope and then buy these. There's not a lot of money available on this. I guess using the info, the here we could uh, use a bomb up top to get that statue and the ghost turned down to buy like the present. That's a bit much for me right now. Maybe somebody else will do that with that info. That's interesting. Keep our eye out for a back layer entrance. Uh oh, this kidder's getting held hostage. I'll rescue you, kidders. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably Yang. Probably I'll come back with the turkeys. All right, that sorts it out. As for everybody else, we'll find out what's in Turkey Town. I think there's going to be a jetpack inside Turkey Town today. True, as we could have used the uh, the web there to also assassinate Ying. All right, Turkey Town's rather a bust. 
Fair enough. Me and my kidders are out of here. Good enough. Anything cool over here? Just a snoozing guy and five hundo. All right, I'll take it. All right, I'm out of here. Yo, youthful porpoise, thank you so much for 19 months. Thank you. Climb back up here. Let's pop these. Looking for skeleton key, maybe? Nah? Alright. Alright, there's the kidders. I mean, it really feels like we need to go jungle right now because we have zero equipments. That was not correct. Is he going to stop here? You son of a gun. Got him, got him. Well, this daily's definitely been a rumble so far. Fun though. Right, that'll do it. To the jungle we go. Dang, cost last. We've been 35 months. One more for three years. Thank you. This looks ridiculous. I'm not going to go over there. I know there's a gold statue, but uh, that looks like death. Trust me, I've died a couple times playing this game. Oh, hell no. What a bust in here, dang. A good napping spot, dude. Don't mind me. It's coming through. I'm gonna buy one high quality turkey stack here and I'm out. Right, easy sister. 
Ooh, what's this connection? What is this? Cool. Bombs? Hell yeah, bombs. Do 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 do. Is arrow trap right here. Bombs love it. This has been a very cool challenge, man. I guess that's that. Doo doo doo. All right, yes and yes. How much is machete here? Forty two, huh? A bit much. here because ghost urn and i really haven't seen this side though i have seen the entire interior of this area i see i got one sequestered kidders fair enough well goodbye brave turkeys No shrine yet. <laughs> Yo, eight-year-old. Thank you so much for 103 months of support. 103. My man. shoes. It's worth it. That's the start, right? Okay, so there's no way we've missed Black Market here. Quite the opposite. Black Market is not here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, there's just more of that down there. That's cool. Wow, I'm leaving. That was like the spawn on the last cosmic ocean we had in the jungle. Whole lot of whole lot of stuff. Cheesy rice, dude. No. Uh, no. Please allow me to go around. Okay, shrine here. Finding the black market and getting the gear is much more important than working the shrine right now. Good to know we have it, though. Okay, I heard it. I think I might see it. Make sure it's not on the Kali Shrine. Okay, it's not. It's below. Yes. Down here. There, I see the entrance at the edge of the spikes here. Right here. Dude, it's a really dirty layout. Ugh. What a level. What a level. Okay, I'm leaving the bow where the clover was. That's how we're going to remember that. Give me at least, like, some springs here, maybe? <sighs> okay. Well, paste is something. Okay, the equipment sucks. Let's focus on getting uh, Kapala right now. Yes, yes, yes. What's in here? Jetpack? Oh, it's Sprongs. Okay, I feel a little better now. A little better now. Okay, I'll be back for those other bombs. Gonna bring the statue back in here. This might be cutting it kind of close. No, we got enough body right here to pull this off. Okay, here we go. I know that this rope is right below the shrine as well. Let's just bomb in here. Use the resource now. Okay, looks like we can do this without um, dragging the helping hand up here. That's 10, 12, 14, 16 right here. Yep. get we did rescue sister here as well I was there okay they see that the statue is now offset holy guacamoles do 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 bomb time very uh, weak black market. Hell yeah. Okay, you know what? It's not that bad. There's just not back equipment here. The bomb count's okay. A very medium black market. If the sprongs weren't in the present, I'd call it bad. But they were. but they were. That was a crazy level. I enjoyed it. Yo, Izanagi21, thanks for 61 months support, and Oakless11, thank you so much for that gift.
Yeah, the presence should be uh, deterministic in the black market, as far as I know. It'll be the same for everybody. I don't know about the humpbed present. But I think since this is already generated on the floor there, that should be the case. All right, I'm going to do Olmec in the hole here. It's going to cost us a handful of ropes, and I'm going to concede that right now. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I am not. I wish this was Olmec in the hole. Yikes. Let's try this again. That should be better. Yeah. With no back equipment here, I do want to grab the parachute at the top of Olmec. Also, I'm going to commit to taking him over to the wall and not doing the quick method on this one. That is a fakey bakey dead guy who's super actually dead right now. Okay, here we go. That was scary. Kind of stuck down here now, fair enough. I feel like we're gonna get some kind of back equipment from the gambling station, seems likely. Kali statue, okay, starting with pace, that's not a bad place to start. Do do. Bon, bon, na, 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 na. Green Glove's a big step up here. Dun, 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 dun. 
Huge step up, in fact. Okay, I heard the damsel on this side. Wow. Okay, I'm poisoned, that's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, we already saw the damsel. Let's see. Alright, we're healed. At 67 bombs, I'm seriously considering whether I want to try to bring the clone gun or not, or if I want to try to clone equipment. Is that a shrine there? It almost looks like the edge of the art of a shrine. It is a shrine. Okay, so eggplants here. So I'm going to clone the humphead present and try to get more equipments. Sounds like a plan. Because it is a plan. It's not actually the jelly that cures poison, in fact, it's reaching the sacrifice threshold to Kali. Though those two things do coincide in that case. Okay, no Hajit here. Actually, hold on. No Hajit means we can take clone gun eggplant instead. Weapons coming up right here. Okay, I can get him the clone gun here in a minute. Eggplant, get. Yeah, not camera though. There's a clone gun right here you can take. There you go, bud. It's gonna be a downright scramble here, is what it's gonna be. Okay, do I have somewhere I can tarp this guy yet? No.
Did you pick it up? Did not pick it up. All right. Time is definitely an issue right now. Oh, he is trapped in there. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, here we go. There you go. I don't know where the uh, skip area is going to be, but it's got to be nearby. On the left-hand side here, I think. Ah, oh, yuck. Okay, hold on. There it is, okay. Time's a concern. Gotta risk it here even with the gym. Starting on this side. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? <sighs> did that destroy the eggplant? It did. Okay. At least it didn't destroy me. I'm a-okay with that. Honestly, amazed the eggplant got destroyed, but I didn't get flung. Seems lucky. I'm just going to go all out with bombs here and hope that the uh, sun challenges on 7-1. Maybe not, though. Blasting. Look at this guy still napping. What a lad. What a lad. That is the end of the help required, though. You did great, buddy. That's why you know that. You did awesome. Bring it in. Full health help as well. What a guy. What a guy. Big B Dark 4 and 9, thanks for 41 months. Thanks for that very kind message as well. Appreciate it.
Okay. Since I was in the air, that's why it hit me there. Got hit because I flinched. Classic. Classic. Alright, Waddler's right here. Let's go. Mr. Waddles. can get back up here. Oh, it's Yeti cave time for sure. It's not a high health run. move this out of the way. I don't know how this is going to interact, but I could see a disaster. Just testing. The juice is loose. Yo, Namakaze66, thanks for 124 months. More than a decade. Thank you. Bit of an uncomfortable jump through there, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Later, Tater. Huh, that's peculiar. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know, I'm going to be going through over here. Yeah, sign me up not to do that. Okay, that looks like the way through. I'll be over here then. That was wild. First priority here is to find the the urn room. Then we can worry about stuff like shrines. Though honestly, probably not doing anything with that shrine. Yeah, the more I see, the less I think I'm getting any value out of that one. Entry number 20 is Smiling Wood Snake. All right, Smiling Brown Urn with a squiggle on it. Here we go. See it. Uh, later, Tater. Oh, good. Dark level. Oh, good gonna leave my dog of legend right there for a moment let's check over here and make sure there's not a um, 
UFO. There's not. I've got a coupon for the turkey buffet. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, just gonna clear this real fast. You know what? I'm gonna use a bomb right here. I already know that's the plan. Get around that entire other section I don't want to deal with? Sure. Later, Tater. That bomb turned out to be incredible. Best bomb of the run for sure. Fair shot, Spelunky 2. Okay, most awesome that the challenge is here. We're going to do ourselves a big favor, and we're going to clear up to the exit using our bombs and ropes. Let's see, we have even a clean shot here. We're about to get 96 bombs and ropes, so there's zero incentive not to do this. Now we know we have a nice clean way back to our exit after doing the challenge. No complications. Boy, well, it's going to be sweet to actually put on our first piece of back equipment to this run after the challenge, provided a vampire spawns. Should. There's one. Hey, Nates are pretty okay. Thanks for 42 months in that Prime continuation. Just a huge and sincere thank you everybody to subscribe and resubscribe with Prime. Huge part of why we're full time in our 11th year on the site. You all awesome. Very good. Okay, I'm going to bring the bow up here. And now instead of bobbing and weaving through the level, we're just going to have a nice clean shot up. Sweet. Get me out of here. Okay. It will definitely bring the damsel over here if I find it. Someone's got so many tubes. I 
That is not an easy damsel to get to. I'm gonna let that one go. Hey, Lawrence Forces, thanks for 30 months and that prime continuation as well. Thank you. Certainly a configuration. Later, Tater. Dude, how many times I can do this section? At least one more than. Cool. Hey, Gilly J, thanks for 49 months. One more for that 5 0. Thank you. I'm gonna try to stick three bombs to one and bop the other. Keep it simple, keep it cool. That looks real good. As it was. Is he poisoned? No. Yo, we did it. All the way from 1-1 to Cosmic Ocean on the daily. If we complete uh, here, I will start a prediction for Cosmic Ocean. That should happen. I kind of want this for Orb 3, but I also think it's a bad Orb 3. Uh-huh. Okay. I would like to get off the ride now, please. Thanks. Okay, that's a good last orb. Let's just drop a bomb right here. There's two. Later, Tater. All right, closing out the regular prediction on all the way Cosmic Ocean. Congrats, believers. I'm going to start a new prediction now uh, for Cosmic Ocean here on the daily. You can choose how far we make it or not. I'm going to stand and stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. encourage you to do all those same things. Be back in just a moment for the continuation of the Spelunky 2 daily first look and beyond.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief one. We're officially entrenched in Cosmic Ocean now. Hell yeah. We did 50 levels or over 50 levels of backless Cosmic Ocean earlier today. Excited for a little yellow cape action. Bear. Being able to float downwards quite dreamy after that last run. That's one. There's two and three here. Let's go over this way. There's two. Feels like it's going to be near the exit here. Hmm. That's dangerous. I love a good yellow cape daily run. Dude, for real? Where'd that guy come from? What aggroed you, partner? Hmm? Considered not doing that? People will like you more. They will. They will. All right, that was some business. In my mind, there wasn't much avoiding that. That was just going to happen. That's a good last orb. Very willing to use one or even two bombs per level to have uh, access to a, an easily poppable last orb. Okay, that's the one we're going to pop last. Not gonna quite work. Two bombs it is. low for a moment. Guess I was small. <laughs> kind of what I was expecting. Oh, nice. Okay, hold on here. 
Hold up. Don't do that, though. Sirs. She want to get on the inside here? Okay, I'm not close enough with this. There we go. Just heard an orb pop. Time to health up. I really feel like just looking at this section that right below us is the bottom of the level. That's the feeling I'm getting. going all the way here and I'll use a bunch of bombs if I need to to just make the level safe probably not though okay I just saw a poison snake going back and forth in the exit noted Clearly we want to pop that one last. This will also be fine. Later, Tater. Well, that's awesome. 98 health now. Somewhat of a relief. Still uh, tons of ways to die immediately here in Cosmic Ocean on every single level, but uh, this protects us from poison mostly. Also means I can be, uh, in some cases, a little more fluid in my movement, so I don't have to worry about losing a health or two. I can power through enemies, uh, stuff like that. That was two. Okay, so where's the exit from here? Guess we're about to find out together. I was close. There it is. Goodbye. Just a few octopods in this level. Just a couple. That side's borked now. That's no good. Are we cruising? I feel like I've been using way more ropes, but I'm at 91 ropes right now, so that's fair. That's a great last orb. No spike chain here. Let's drop these. Let's also just throw a rope here now. Be back for that later. B 
be back for that now. And another one. Okay, I'm gonna assassinate this mummy before it goes off the edge of the level. And also before it spits any bugs out. One. I haven't seen the exit yet, right? I don't think so. Hmm, okay, here it is. That's what bombs are for. Keeping it simple. Hmm, tough toss. Okay, it's a cricket. I was just making sure that wasn't a poison glob going through. Poison spit that drips through a level is one of the nastiest hazards in this game. Or drips through the sand, rather. Alright, death charged. This is really scary. I need to go around here. And another cat. Yikes. Okay, then. Let me get that off the entrance, because respawning there will activate the swamp and probably kill us. As I've learned the hard way about 15 times. Cool, man. Their orb, though. That was crazy, dude. You've been blasted. All right, there's the exit. It's got a witch doctor near it. Some more info here. Ooh. Favorites, machete. Let's go. Sign me up. Chip Chapman reporting for duty. All right. Well, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Let's just bomb through. There's definitely a way to get around that. It's just not going to feel good.
Yo, congrats on your CO victory. You did it. You made it all the way. Good feelings all around. Okay, I see that snake. It's also the... So what is falling through here? Oh, it's a corpse. Maybe it's not a corpse? No, it's a poisoned uh, summoner is what it is. There's one. Boy, this level's got um, some stuff going on. not happening. Okay, there's poison spit going in the sand right now. Hmm, not quite going in the sand, but right on the ceiling there. Still think the orb below is more reliable if I use a bomb. And this one, it's always a little sketchy. Entrance, that being Orb 3. Okay. I'm very happy to see Dwelling. like a good last orb to me. Okay, side looks safe enough for now. I did that. Okay, that's two right on them. Uh, okay, again, I can do that, but instead, let's go around. Died a couple times in recent memory to inching up on the jelly and then going a little too far. Sciences, thanks so much for 12 months. Appreciate that year. Thank you. Not turning that down. 10 second level? Hell yeah. We take those. Predominant level has definitely been temple so far. gonna be our orb three no qualms about using resource there that's one Here's two.
Wow, I came out of left field. All right. Oh, got slap chopped. Say it isn't so. Okay, poison's not too bad. Um, with machete, we can mostly keep up, though I'm not worried about time here at all. I'm worried about clearing the level efficiently. Machete will be a helpful tool to get a little more blood. I don't have to focus on just farming blood here. We have the Ankh and a huge health resource. Also, not unlikely we find another mummy. Where orb though? Okay, I've definitely been here, right? Definitely. not go down here there's the exit I think I saw the third orb right here Woo, and more okay it was not the rope I was going for there it is <laughs> the poison helped me out there. Thanks, poison. Thanks for jostling me upwards. That's a pretty good last orb if I just use a bomb here. Let's set it up. There's one. Sure. This looks promising. Uh, okay. This level's huge. I get it now. Okay, here we go. Okay, machetes on the ground. What is falling here? It's a grub. Okay. There we go. Okay, he's actually getting closer. See, now further away. moving. It's orb two, it's orb one. There's 
two. Here's three right next to the exit. Beautiful. Got him. Okay, oops, all lava on this one. Let's um, cut down and then cut across here. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of areas that are difficult to get into on this level. Here's one orb. Hey, that was two. whole left-hand shelf here. Okay, well that eliminated a lot of my worries. Means the last orb's over here somewhere. Will there be what's going on here? That was a glitch. Because he got pushed off of his um, platform there. Yo, just a random hero. Thanks for 16 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you. Okay, bottom right exit. Love to see it. Okay, you know what? No. sure where the exit is. I'd like to see it. Yeah, that's right. Bottom right. I remember. Okay, I'm gonna try to go up and around here. Don't like that over the lava pool jump for reasons. Yo, just ran here. Thanks for 16 months and 1,000 bits. Appreciate that huge generosity. Fast as Panda, thanks for 106 months of support as well. Too kind. Thank you all for the support. Uh, making this place possible and sustainable for 11 years now. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. A bomb here. I'm really thinking about just popping this one because it's right on the edge anyways. Yeah, let's not leave that for last. There's two. There's three? Okay. Arrow falling through scene. Nope. 
Hmm. Where orb though? There orb though. Yo, a little topper time? Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna use this body instead of my cape. Maybe. Now that body's gone. Alright, I can use my cape then. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Snake, I'm already poisoned. Impervious. Just a little topper time here. Let's see a little peek of that orb down there, too. Just like it never happened, except for it definitely did. Is this three? No, it's two. I gonna get both thwomps? Not quite. I accept. <laughs> get me off the ride, please. That was smooth, Jay. Thanks for making me look good, bud. What a lad. Did lose our machete, which is my dang. It's all good. Definitely not something we need, but I like it. Exit here. Okay, bombing. Gonna rope two just to mark this while we're here. One, oh boy. We're in a little bit of trubs. Okay, I feel like I've already been here. Twice now? Okay, this is where we started, yeah? Cheese sauce accident has been started. This guy's gotta go, man. Gotta go. So the billion dollar question is, what haven't we seen right now? There's an orb right there. Uh, mild complications. Yo, nice. Really?
All right, well survived, little Jay. I believe in you, but dang, that was a tough one. Okay, that can be orb three. Saw an orb up there. Wow, get 86 floppy fish. You flipped your last flop, you son of a gun. Jay with the pentakill in the pool. Dang. This is three. I don't know where the exit is, and we're gonna find out together. Hello, right here then? Cool. Okay. Pretty intense exit. It's like bottom left uh, exit here. Listen here, bud. No more of that. Uh, I'm not going to take Boomerang here. I'm just going to try to power through this. I saw there was an orb near the exit, but there was also a witch doctor on the exit. Yep. Take care of that. Yoda Roxas, thanks for 51 consecutive months. Thank you. I don't want to sneeze right now. <coughs> well, there was no choice in that matter. Dang. Sorry for not muting there. Okay, the middle's cursed. Noted. I'm going to take care of this right now. Okay, there is a robot on the exit. We can oververse you this, huh? Oh yeah. 
console. It's got Old Reversi written all over it. I am not one hundo what I haven't seen yet. Something in here, maybe? Huh. There we go. Okay, that was unexpected. Lost my rope there. Oof. Okay, we're right on the exit. Okay, it's bombs. In that case, I will rope through again. Bombs are cool. Joke's on you, crab. I can't be poisoned while I'm already poisoned. Get wrecked. Strategy denied, crab. I'm gonna wait for this tick here. Later, Tater. All right, that's um a very easily accessible last orb. This one, not so much. That was two. Good. Uh, the timer carries over in between levels, Gravity Fears, so it's uh, every 30 seconds from the moment you become poisoned, not in the level. Okay, easy level. Gonna have to do a little cleanup here on the exit. That's fine. Can do. Okay, no. That's my main concern in traversing the side and the top of the level here in Temple is poison, so I can... Uh, get some positive out of being poisoned on this level. Oh yeah. Certain orb pop. That's two. You see uh, Jay walking on that thwomp? That was pretty cool, man. Cool moves, little Jay. Now stop scaring everybody. I just saw Orb 3. I really don't know where the exit is from here. 
feel like I've already seen it. No, it's right here. Swamp check. I'm real glad the exit was right there. You know, that's actually a great last orb. Glad I kind of bungled that. Now I know. It's gonna pop it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's one. Exit. Exit. Orb three right there. So we still have one more orb to find on top of this. This is one wide level, my dude. One wide level. Dang. There's that. Crab. Why crabs, though? Crab in a treasure chest. Okay. Waiting on the poison here. Okay, shouldn't have waited, but fair enough. Later, Tater. Oh, hey, Flutter Dash, I want to tell you that your information about level sizes yesterday was correct. I was incorrect. Four by four for regular, six by six for uh, voice echoes. It's a pretty good last orb. Probably pop that with uh, something. All right, um, I'm going to hope that we, what we need isn't over there. Okay, I did not get her. There's that. It's a little clearer at least, kind of. Boy, this level just feels like time trouble. Okay, there we know if I go on the right hand side here. Cut in for my exit somewhere in here, near where we started. How big is this? Okay, not that big. Hold on a minute. Where's this exit?
Oh, super smushed. Super smushed. That was my bad. Okay, here we are backless again. Not a bad backless build. I should have used a few bombs there, but I really thought I could pull that off. Here we go. Yo, Destrina, thanks for 115 months of support. Pixel Fusion, thanks for 76 as well. Thank you. All right, opportunity for a health pool would be nice, but I think what we're going to end up doing is getting a boomerang on hand if we find a jungle, and we'll roll with that for a bit. The game could be super nice and give us uh, back equipment again soon, but that's unlikely. Okay, there's two orbs right there. Easy bomb. Okay, that was two then. Okay, that one is out over the edge. Good to know. We're going to call that Orb 3. This is Orb 2, then. That's Orb 1. Here's Orb 2. Okay, I'm going to drop through this way. Two then. When I find orb three, I gotta figure out how I'm getting to the exit from that orb. So far, no. Haven't I seen here? Something by the exit, I think. Yep, there it is. Okay, got all three orbs here, but it doesn't give us any information on the exit. I don't think I want to get into a scramble at the moment. Just take a little look around. A little crab samurai blood. Here we go. Give me that. Yum. Crab or nah? Not a crab. Well, gonna be a bit of an adventure to get back here, but we got our route.
Yo, now you Buckeye. Thanks for almost 70 months of support. Much appreciation. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Get funnel juice. Okay. Hopefully not a bunch of damage on the way up here. Ooh. Ooh. 12 bombs. I don't know where the exit is from here. You know what? I'm just going to pop this. I feel like this level is extremely large. I need to gain the information on where the exit is. Okay, good to know. Right up here, then. Pictures meant right there. Okay, awesome. Okay, I don't have a good out here. Let's do it this way. That's one. Here's the exit down here on the, this side. Oh. Skeleton man got me. What a lad. This level's just quite big. No getting around it.
This is pretty sketchy. I thought that was a crab. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Okay, I think that's a boomerang falling down. I want that boomerang. I want that. Okay, it's going to very slowly make its way to the uh, top right-hand corner. So I'm going to work my way up there. I didn't get a boomerang on hand. That might actually be for the best. Yeah, all right, I see that. There be. I think this is orb three right now. Let's go. Nice. We did have an okay set of backlists yesterday, but not not 50 levels like we had today. This one's going all right too. It's always very, uh, very sketchy when you're low health with no back equipment. There's just a lot of things that can go wrong here. But, we're maintaining, we have a system, we're working it. That was my fault. Me legs! Oh no. <laughs> Just like that. What a toss. That was a really tough daily seed. Uh, just the base, the base from was very hard. No back equipment all the way until the Sun Challenge 7 1. No idea what the uh, Vlad side of that looks like, but very happy with our performance. There you have it. Of the 372 players to go so far, that puts us at number three.
Good look at Brady does attempt that one themselves. Sun Challenge is on 7-1. Uh, Black Market's kind of a bust. Uh, pretty good bomb count, but no, uh, no back equipments. All right, everybody. Very fun stream today. Thank you all for the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation. We'll uh, do it again tomorrow for our all day Sunday stream per usual. Catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it already. Thanks for the great one.